is very important to me that we start on this mm -hmm. screen right here. <laughs> Load file. <laughs> they put this in an official gift. <gasps> Don't worry, everyone. I know that there was a big question about whether Brogel survived the Earth, <laughs> the earthquake, <laughs> the devastating, <laughs> devastating earthquake. We shall reveal. We are playing in rubble. Oh, my phone just let me know that Brogel is streaming. Uh, All right. I'm, I'm just glad that like the people over at Samsung were able to send you a yeah. notification, despite the the devastating I'm earthquake glad. that ravaged yeah, their offices. Yeah, that fucking ravaged all the lands. Tiki Taki Wall. So it was Wabi Sabi Wall. They just changed the names of both levels. It was it Sushi Temple, and now it's Wabi Sabi Temple, and this is Tiki Taki Wall. It almost is more racist. I don't know if it's racist. It's made, yeah. it's made by the. Wait, wait. Oh, yeah. this is this is racist. I really, really like um, uh, Chinese music. Mm. Like the. Oh fuck! Wrong one. I forgot. I have control of the camera because we have a fucked up setup. Yeah. I'm I need glad. to fix the controls. Hey, Richard. Hi, Richard. Actually, can I actually change the camera control? No. No, there's no quality of life in any of this game. I will say, the render distance is actually better than it used to be. Yeah. But is it only because of PPSSPP? PP? No. P that wouldn't change render distance. Yeah. Like, what is this? <laughs> Who put this here? Who put this Spectre here? Spectre did. Spectre? He really is a villain. Who is that? I've been <laughs> working for Spectre. <laughs> <laughs> and he's not trying to take over the world, Spectre. <clears throat> uh, apparently, by the way, that earthquake, I, I guess it hit Jersey yeah. the most. Yeah. But it was like a f almost a five, which is like medium length. I don't know how bad the damage was, but like that's like moderate damage, if anything. But yeah, like aftershocks do happen. And, like, I guess hundreds of them do, but they're all, like, so low on the register. On the, the Scoville scale? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's the Richter scale. Yeah, Rick. Sorry, Scoville is, uh... Spi is, uh spices. Physi physi like, physic. the physicals. <laughs> <laughs> physicals, mentals, smexicals. Oh, I have the, the, uh, the, 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 the thing. How do I do it again? Uh, <clears throat> replace hula. I don't need to hula any day. Bro, I'm so good at video games. Oh, th that's it. Look at all that! Wabi Sabi Wall, Tiki Taki Clocky. Look at that. Look mm. at the sex I just performed on your wife. Look. <laughs> just, <laughs> this camera is bad. Well, it may, it lets you, you know. <laughs> Do they call him Spike? Like, do they just make his hair spiky and call him Spike because, like, the polygons of the PlayStation is just that easy to make a design for his hair? <laughs> Spike. Goofy. Thanks, bro. Oh, I can just make them jump. No, I can't. Spectre? Who's that? Me! <laughs> gotcha, Parappa the Rapper. Why isn't his name Parappa the Crapper? We know what he does. He it was Mission 5. Well, yeah. 5? Yeah. Yeah, Mission 5 and Parappa. Parappa the, it should have just been like Parappa the Crapper instead of All Masters Rap. It should, All Masters man. Crap. <laughs> All Masters Crap. <laughs> Bro, that's a missed opportunity. <laughs> All Master's crap is amazing. <laughs> what is that sound? It's an enemy that's not doing anything. Oh, there it's oh, doing there, something. Oh, oh, fuck. It's here. It's here. It's queer. Get used to it. There's a monkey down here. Stop it while this monkey business. Strike! Strike when the iron's hot! Ha! <laughs> Bro, I'm in a goofy mood today. Mm -hmm. I think it was the nitro. Yeah, the nit. Oh, I still have some. <laughs> yeah, me too. Fucking. <laughs> it's like a nice, like, soft can. It is. It's a weird can. I just, I, I'm not a big fan of Pepsi, if I'm being real. Mm -hmm. like, the <clears throat> Pepsi taste, it's like, it's like really, really sweeter than Coke, but then it's like, it gets not as sweet as Coke. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Like, Coke stays sweet the whole time, but Pepsi loses its sweetness after the first few mm. sips. Sounds like a girlfriend. <laughs> she moves in, and then she takes half your money. <laughs> as soon as you kiss the bride, she kills you. <laughs> Guess I'm dead. 
<laughs> just like as soon as you kiss, just like a knife goes in your stomach. And everyone, everyone in the audience is like, oh, so I come. Everyone in the audience is in Jesus' audience. I lost my brain halfway through that. I don't know if you could tell. Yeah. Why does the music stop and start over? Um, limitations of the. Oh, you can probably shoot it. Is this a joke? Is this supposed to be funny? Is this, is this, is this humorous? <laughs> it's so much easier to control. Yeah. So they had more buttons than they fucked up. I think they just wanted to use every button and made it stupid just for the sake of justifying a DualShock controller. Like, Astro's worked because, like, it was kind of... It was built around it. Astro's is great. Like, the dual sense and all that, like... But imagine, like, a game that's more in-depth that requires you to use all the buttons. Oh, you got him in there, now he's stuck. Oh. Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to... I'm so glad rescue or you know ca catching monkeys caused that to happen. Like, all right, mm -hmm. open it up for them. Yeah, I always find it funny that when you like kill a group of enemies, walls open. They're like, well, they're dead, so I guess let them in. One of one of them had the switch or something to like yeah. close the wall. John Cena, the best switch man. Yeah, apparently, according to Kate and Krista, John Cena legitimately is like really into video games, hmm. which is like surprising. Apparently, when the switch came out, he was like, "You're telling me." I can be on my tour bus, all my wrestling friends surround me in my bliss, and I can put this on a table and we can all play together right next to each other. <laughs> Fully naked, <laughs> rubbing each other with oil. I really wish I could get my hands on one, but all no, the scalpers no, that, bought it that, early. That, that line is true. He, really? he was like legitimately like, you're telling me I can do this with all my wrestling buds and shit. Fuck, wow. That's a bad looking skybox. All the way back here? That I think bad. you gotta bust that door open from the other side. <laughs> Careful, you only got three shirts oh. on. Oh. Yeah. Oh, there's, yeah, a wire running to it. I hate that I have to change my shirt every single time I climb up here. Because <laughs> I soiled my shirt on the way up. I soiled down. my shit on the way up. Why is that a sling back shooter? It's called a slingshot, is the name of trademark? You have to. Uh, what is the button? that one the one you just pressed delayed yeah delayed and yet the delayed Zalfos the, the, yeah the Zalfos <laughs> still came out and fucked me really can you believe that a Stalfos came out and had its way with my never mind movie? with my boobies <laughs> sorry Lindsay Jones I put you out of a job goodbye so Twitch, it's going. To catch no, it. we're on YouTube. Is your Dorito running? You better go catch it. What is that blade attached to? My dad. Like house. the middle of it is just out for everybody to see. Yeah, put that away. <laughs> like this is geometry vomit. Nothing makes sense. Even if Spectre took this land over, like what was it originally? Because this is nothing. I'm glad I didn't just drop down now. Drop dead. You know what? I'm glad you dropped dead, Santa. I hope Japan Studio made this because they got what they deserve. Sorry. Japan. They made Gravity Rush, but like they didn't deserve to go out of business. But if they made this, then they did. Mm, I mean, I think if Escape was around their first shit. Yeah. They, they, learned, they learned and made better I, stuff. I don't think they made this remake. Because mm. I don't remember seeing the Japan Studio logo. Mm. Well, the original. Like. They made the original. But we gotta play the other sequels to see if they got better with it. Mm -hmm. And the level's done. Yeah. Let's go home. Drop dead! So he's, the Ash says to Missy every single time. Oh, there's a bug, it's scary! Well, maybe you should drop dead. 
Have you thought about that? It won't scare you anymore if you just died. Your turn. Fucking small fry. Small guy. Uh, I was trying to jump. <laughs> was that the jump in the original? No, I, I, I still hit the wrong button, but like... Oh, uh, this is the last level where you gotta rescue, like, 20 monkeys. So you should do, like, the next eight levels. Oh my god! Yeah, it's just this and then the Futurama levels, as far as I remember. If you have 20 of them, you, f well, you, Futurama... don't, you don't capture Spectre. It's a lie. You fight the robot and Spectre gets away. I just, I'm, I'm not spoiling it. It's just more I'm like, whoever is in the audience who doesn't know this, I'm just like quelling your hype right now before you get your heart broken. We're trying not to disappoint you. Yeah, essentially. Because the game will. Yeah, I don't like this camera. It's like already making me feel weird. Yeah, it's it's a little bit weird. I still think this is better. Yeah. I'll probably die on that hill. Again, a lot of these problems you probably wouldn't notice on a PSP screen. Just catch him. He's just laying there. I fucked that up and I still got him. 19 more to go. Yay. It won't tell it. Or maybe I just have to get to the end. I don't know. I'll still explore. It's at 20 monkeys. Yeah, but then here it just says to get Spectre. I don't care about the mail. Right. I don't think you can Your kill this yet. Oh, I guess you can. What's the UFO for? I think he would climb in if I didn't catch him in time. Huh. Why does this area remind me of that one place in Spiral 1? The, um, the swamp area. Uh, Terrace Village. Hmm. Reminds me of that one area by... They did, like, wonders with Terrace Village and Reignited. Yeah. That shit looks so, like, pristine pussy. You know what I'm saying? I guess we're going in here now. I don't know if there's anything on the other side, but... One second. I wonder if you could just catch all 20 monkeys. I think there's more than that in the actual level. Look I out. thought that was a butterfly for a second. This might be a dead one. Oh, yeah. No, you need the boxing glove. No, I think you need the um, RC car on the other side. I remember, like, you go down, like, the floor with it, and that's what I mean is you can't break that wall without the boxing glove. Mm -hmm. The shining wall is the boxing glove wall. Uh, came all the way in here for nothing. I came all the way here just to fail and slides like, yes, you did. This much bread for a red hit. <laughs> like, people want to criticize Mario 64's camera. At least you use the, your left hand to control it. Or your right hand to control it. And, like, Ape Escape, you have to use the D pad, which means you can't be running. In this game, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? So oh, wait, do you have to use like the D pad in the original? Yeah. Oh, wow, that sucks. How did we manage? We didn't. <laughs> we sold it. No, I still own it, I think. Unfortunately. I don't think I sold it. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah. Come on. Be nice. It's like one of the most overrated games I think we've ever played. Because people, like, art was like, all games suck except for this Well, one. he said it's one of the only 3D games. I overhyped his statement. Yeah. I, where I was like, this is the only 3D game. <laughs> Like, not the only good one. Just the, the only, only time one. you've ever seen him cry besides yeah. watching Ashen's. Yeah. Yeah. Watching Ashen's violin video and playing Ape Escape for the first time were the two times he's cried in his life. Oh my god, beautiful secrets. Oh my god, look at that cozy... <laughs> Never mind. Oh my god, Spectre... Oh my god, Spectre Queen. Get three Spectre Coins and then find the balloon that's still bring you to another Spectre Coin. What about Nasty Spectre? What about gross ass Nasty Spectre? Kill it. Kill it, Spyro. What, what about gross ass Nasty Six Son of a Bitch Spectre? <laughs> this game went, it went from patting your head and rubbing your tummy to now it's just patting your head and patting your tummy. Because, <laughs> like, with this, like, having to, like, rotate it with the right stick and move around with the left was just too much coordination for. It's not a pea brain thing, it's literally just like. Who, who wants to or will do this? I mean, we're stupid Americans. Yes. You can go to the top of that waterfall. Yeah, I can go in there. Oh, this is back here. Oh, oh. no. 
Ouch. No. <laughs> Help. <laughs> At this moment, I realized my life was not going to be the same. Your life is for fit? It is for fit. <laughs> I haven't actually gone to the gym since I got sick. Mm. Although I will say... I haven't been coughing much, and the sore throat's gone. Nice. So I think I'm finally at the end of it after three I'm months. Cured. Dude, three months. Yeah. Of nonstop. That's how it was me with the coughing. It just yeah, went away at the time. <laughs> you you didn't get better till the second time you got sick. Yeah, like it always bookends it. Oh, I need to catch a certain number of monkeys to get in there. Oh, that's to get the spectre. So I only do need three more. I guess there are twenty in the hole. Stop. I'm not gonna bother with fighting them. They're just, they're nothing. Please, God, I don't want to die. Hey, buddy. Ring the bell, I dare you. I'll ring it. Oh, they're baloney! Oh, nice. <laughs> you see, this game single-handedly started COVID. People thought that if they killed and ate bats, they'd taste like cookies. Yep. And we also played it when COVID started. Like, we had to switch to online. Oh, yeah, you're right. So it did, really did start COVID. It was this Resident Evil... Crash 4 and Spyro 4. Yeah. I just want to actually that Spyro 4 is officially in development. Yeah. Officially in quotation marks, meaning that it's start getting started working on it doesn't mean it's going to come out. Yeah. Because anything can happen, especially with Activision. Oh, uh, yeah. Even though Toys for Bob doesn't work for Activision anymore. Is it going to be an Xbox exclusive? I don't know, but either way, I'll have the console. That's shit. I couldn't even see, and I did it. Yeah. Ultra instinct. <laughs> Look around before you go in the door. Good. <laughs> I was trying to do, like, a land kill to, like, <laughs> whip the first one. And I still got him. Jesus. I think I like Ape Escape a little more than you do. Yeah. Cause I don't think this, that. I don't think this game is as embarrassing as you think it is. It's fine, but like, like I, but I also play mostly these types of games. And the original, I'll admit, I hated. Mm -hmm. This, this one, is yeah. This is definitely better. If the second game is like this, I'll give the second game a shot. Why are they like not even trying? Oh, there he is. Oh. The end of the game. Oh, there he is. Why are you doing that when you have full No, I, I didn't. I had one missing. Oh. I forget how you extend your health. The thing Remember, is just like you're going to have to this, hit this again when you come back. Look at that waterfall. <laughs> Zigzag. Spyro 1 had a better waterfall. Yeah. Bro, I fucking... I really hope Spyro 4 ends up coming out. Yeah. Like, I, I miss them. As long as it's not, like, Crash 4, then I'll be fine. Crash 4 is fine if you don't try to complete it. If we were just playing the levels, I feel like we would have had a lot better of a time with it. Mm. Even, why do they have to make it such a nightmare to complete? Yeah, the imperfectly perfect... Or, the perfectedly perfect. Yeah, the perfectly perfect runs. That's what it was. <laughs> Greatest idea. I think you just hit this in it. Or no? No, punch and glove. Oh, yeah, it's glowing. That's why you should just go to Spectre. There's a lot of stuff in this stage you That's need just a shortcut back up. I think there's nothing else I can do. Is that to get in there, the punch club? Like, does that open that? I'm not sure. We'll find out later. Uh, this is a way I shorter level than I remember. I think we just struggled so much with the controls, and that's why um, it takes Hitting the so button long. over and over, even though I hate it, is so much easier than mm -hmm. rotating the control stick to save yourself, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, when you're panicking, you're like, Duh! instead of, huh! Don't hit the bells anymore. Oh, no way. There he is. There's Spectre. That's you're not Spectre. You're looking awfully different, douche. Wow. I have Spectre remaining. Oh. Uh, stairs to the left. Why did you just pull out your inner, uh, uh, Roger? Uh, is that his name? Yeah. From Doug? Yeah. yeah. Roger. Roger. Oh. oh my god, these are some bad. Hang on. Ready? You just want, like, your eyes to die. Sometimes you just want your eyes to die. I've got some... So it is better to just double jump out of that. 
I said that like Spyro says, I've got some things to do. Sometimes you want your eyes to die. Down I go. Oh, better than the first. <laughs> yeah, instead of winding it up, like double jump and it will instantly give you like, momentum. You up. Yeah. I think the original was like that, just harder to pull off. See, we're stands here. We stand it. Hey, another Spectre coin. I almost, I hit the right stick to try to hit him backwards. Like, see, this is why you should play the original. <laughs> it was the greatest game of all time. I used to play with my sister. And then uh, my dad played it before he died. You know, Spike Sorry. is actually replaced in the next game. Yeah, I thought they have a new protect. I am, like, getting the controls mixed up. I want to, oh. like, go with the original controls, but... I fucking love that the poster thing in Reignited so much. It makes me so happy. With the guy's mom. Yeah. Like, yeah. With her name on the, like... Like, that doesn't sully, that's not like a, like, oh, this is gonna age badly kind of thing that yeah. some people do. Like, it's, like, just a nice thing to do for someone who grew yeah. up with the series. I don't know another instance of that happening. Other than Yik I think putting like Satoru guy... Iwata's grave in there. Do you really? Yeah. Does it say his name? Yeah, it says Satoru. Like, the graves around are all jokes, but then one grave says, here lies Satoru Iwata. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, a lot of people felt it was I guess insulting. Nintendo can't, like, cease and desist that, because, like, you know, that's nice. It, it is, but... But I don't... surrounded by jokes is yeah, kind of bad. Yeah, so every other grave is, like, a joke. Yeah, it's like, what if, like, Trials of Horror is just, like, you know, all these jokes they make, and then just, like... A straight... Like, uh, the death of someone who, like, worked on the show or something. Yeah. Who is there anyone, like, on the Simpsons who, like, died? I don't I think, think it was, the like... the guy that played Troy McClure, who was the yeah, guy that yeah. played Blasto. Um, Phil Hartman, yeah. Yeah. Um, all I can think of is like, uh, oh, was it? Uh, um, the, uh, Ned Flanders' yeah, his wife. wife died, yeah. But they kind of just killed her off in the show in a weird way. Mm. Didn't they have, uh, Miss Kerbobble marry him? Uh, I don't personally know. I heard, like, there's like a chart of, like, people who made, like, here's every noticeable decline in The Simpsons, like, all the jokes they made and they came true. I guess, like, either Patty or someone, like, married Barney or something. Ew. Or actually, no. Recent Simpsons, Barney kind of cleaned up his life. Mm. I don't keep too much into it, because honestly, at this yeah. point in my life, I don't care. I'll just watch the classics I grew up with. Yeah. Just uh, to mix up Connor with other things. Yeah. <laughs> this season is a little long. That was, that was one thing that uh, we talked about when... What the fuck? When um, going through the, uh, the, the, the fuck-ups in... Um, uh, like sets yeah like the game of thrones has a lot mm. like there's a starbucks cup there's the water bottle there's the <laughs> the laptop charger <laughs> they got a lot going um there's the fact that the lady is only supposed to look young when she has a necklace around a special necklace around her neck and a lot of times i like, can't move to... it's just sliding yeah you probably just jump yeah i want the last dorito whatever um, they didn't even have the buffy oh, one. no no i'm going oh. down it's been nice oh they didn't even have the Buffy one listed, which I think is like the worst one. Yeah. Life isn't fun. You've seen the picture, playing. right? Yeah, the nighttime thing. Yeah, where they're just in the corner. Like, a lot of those... Oh, that, yeah. A lot and then, of... like, the, like, when they color corrected it to be nighttime and they just forgot. Yeah, so it says 4 a.m., but, like, the sun's out. Yeah. No, I'm talking about the crew being... Up yeah, there. I've seen that one, yeah, too. So... Like, that's, that's like, number one. Because some yeah. of these things, it's like, a, you're really going to have to, like... It shows that no one checked it. Yeah. They just sent it out. Sometimes it's like, oh, if you notice there's, in some of the examples online, it was like, oh, if you go see a boom mic, yeah. right? It's like, if you squint hard enough and believe in the things that aren't real, you'll <laughs> see a boom mic right there. One well, what I found fascinating what the fuck? a little bit, um, reused sets in different shows. Bro. I looked that up. No, I didn't find too, too much, but, like, a common one is high schools. Like, every show with high schools, so like, Saved by the Bell, Buffy, like, and Guy Carly, like, stuff like that. They all reuse the same, like, locker, like, set. Um, but I just remember they did, like, a special, I think, when Guy Carly was out. It's like, oh, the lobby for their apartment is the same set as Drake and Josh's room. Um, so you can kind of see it. But it's, like, um, it's hard to believe. But, like, then I looked it up, and, like, it's hard to, like, go on websites because they load so many ads, and it, like, burns my phone battery out, so I couldn't, like really so i had to go to like reddit posts where people were just talking about it because reddit doesn't have ads um i guess like a common one is um 
full house, like, their second floor hallway is the same set as Friends with their, like, in-between-the-two-apartments hallway. But it's, like, trying to find, like, Seinfeld that, like, but not really much. And, like, a lot of stuff I don't watch. Um, but, like, Buffy does, I think, reuse a lot of, like, sets yeah. from their shows. The one I find fascinating is newspaper. Yeah. How many how many shows share the same newspaper? Like, and you can yeah. see it's the same thing. I just remember, like, Seinfeld when it showed the close-up and it was just Lorne Ipsen. Like, the headline was a new thing, but, like... Can I fight this guy? No. Or maybe I have to. I probably have to use a different weapon. Um, but yeah, like, the headline was whatever it was in the show, but then, like, the body text just said Lorem Ipsum. I don't think you have anything that would work unless running into him. I'll try this. I don't think that's gonna do anything. Like, maybe with the bomb setup? What was it? Yeah, you have to pull it back and then hit it. No. He's not a tangible object right now. No. Okay, right, get out of that and move. Is there a spot on his back to hit? Maybe. I just want to switch this back. Okay. It's not the slingshot, I can guarantee. I'm thinking maybe like this. And running into him. Just hit square, it'll realign it. Yeah. yeah. Nope. I'll check behind him. Whoop. Yeah, you hit him in the back. What the fuck was that? He, like, followed you. He can do what I can do. That's always, like, an intimidating thing in games. Like, when you have this overpowered ability, and then you find out, like, a pawn, like certain opponents can use it too it's like oh i have a super trails in the sky does it like you get like whenever these... whenever you hit him he does a sweep so mm. you have to hit him and run in the opposite direction see yeah yeah oh, oh. <laughs> Um, but yeah, there's, like, a moment in Trails where, like, because you have, like, these special, like, S-craft abilities, like, they're basically, like, your, like, your ultimate attacks. Starcraft? And you can, and you can cut into, like, enemies' turns and use them whenever you want. And then, like, at the very end of the game, people like Colonel Richard, like, they can also use them. So there's, like, all of a sudden, they're just using an ultimate attack on you. Hmm. So it's, like, one of those, like, clutch moments. Oh, you're in the... You're in the sewer that you were looking at before. Yeah. This game's a lot more generous with the health than the original game. Mm. Like, every enemy, if you have damage, gives you health in this version. Yeah. More forgiving. Sometimes oh. that's, like, all the game needs. You just open the sewer thing. Yep. Yeah. Why can you break the wall still, though? I don't know. Maybe it recloses when you come back, so it's, like, a shortcut back. Oh, I'm gonna shrink my legs. Every single time you come in, my legs reclose, reignited shields. Oh, it's water. I think it's flowing water, so I'm gonna get whatever I can up here first. I think that might be an RC car thing. Or you swim under into the pool of water. Yeah. This isn't where I came from, right? No. Yes? Yo? No. no. I'm a liar, I'm sorry. I suck. Laura Mosin. I'm gonna name my son Laura Mipson. Yeah, like, I noticed, like, just watching certain shows, like, some of the sets look the same as in other shows, like, where things are in relation to each other. So I'd like to know, like, if they actually are the same sets, but it's more just people, like, kind of know somehow. What's the fire button? Any of the face buttons? You're almost out of air. <laughs> it's kind of hard favorite to see sound the top of the water. Game. Yeah. I like in Mario 64, like, it's kind of stupid to say that. I like in Mario 64 when you go underwater and there's no, like, water effect. It's just kind of like this. There's a water effect. Like, when you you're underwater, it doesn't... Bubbles. 
he has bubbles, but like, you know, in most games, like water's tinted or something to let you know you're underwater. Like it's just not. It's just Mario basically could be swimming in in the air for for all we know. That was an epic dodge. Mm -hmm. All his bat friends came to the rescue. All right now I'm failing. Now I'm now I'm crissing. Why are you calling it crissing? <laughs> this is what Connor would say. Where'd he go? I would get some cookies over there. Are there cookies? No, no, no. Sorry, they were by where you were before. Way back. Yeah. I don't want to go way back. Right there. Oh. Stop cursing all over the place. Be less like Chris, more like Crispy. More like Mr. Bycross. Mr. Biden. Mr. Biden. How many licks does it take? Dude. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, Biden would know. Uh, I've been working on it for 82 years. I've been getting to the center of her for eons. <laughs> She's the Krispy Kreme and I'm the donut. How many how many licks does it take to get a little Tootsie Roll center of Stick Rock? <laughs> stick Rock. <laughs> Is this the place you go under for the... Look around real quick, because you go under to get to a place. Blue Hedgehog. What's up? Hey, what's up? We're playing Ape Escape on the Loose because the apes are escapes and they're on the loose. There's nothing down here. Check the other water. Yeah, I guess I'll go back. Because it seemed like there was a There way. was stuff, yeah. Yeah. Nothing worse than christening except tristening, of course. Yeah. <laughs> tristening is crying, bitching, moaning. I just got my tristening. Oh, that's a door right there. Is it? No, because you can't use the punching glove underwater, I don't think. No, yeah. It just defaults to this. Oh, I love, like, all nothing areas. It kind of looks nice. There it is. Let me go back up for air. Pause for a sip. Pause for a sip. Oh, just hold on for a sip. Hold on for a sip. Oh, nitro Pepsi. What is the thing with nitro? It's, like, nitrogen. I guess. Oh, it, it is in here. You, you put the RC car on, I think. Or you just have to book it What's with the What's the fucking loop. point? Is just that just another way to do it? Yeah, 100 for an extra life. Like, is it really worth it? Uh, Blue Hedgehog said, I only briefly played the first Ape Escape. I should make concept for the game at some point. It's this. This is a remake of it. Yeah. Um... It's, it's on PSP, so like it doesn't look I much mean, like hey, a if you want to play another classic PS1 game, I feel like it is kind of essential. Fuck. You did that in such a ratchet way. <laughs> Not even in the Clank variety. I don't know if this is like where Spectre is, but like we're getting so many what? monkeys. What the fuck are they even working on? Any of the big three. I know. What the fuck are they even doing? They lay off people in these companies, and yet we don't know what... And Navi they close, like, Japan Studio, and, like, so how many studios do they really have left? Like, they, I mean, they have quite a bit still, honestly, but... I know they've opened new ones, like, isn't it Asobi or whatever made uh, Astros? Well, Asobi has been a thing for a while. They've made VR games and shit yeah. like that. Um, they kind of took the place of Team Japan, mm. at least... Where are you going here? Um, or who made a uh, Little Big Planet, the new one, Sackboy? Uh, Sackboy was made by Gorilla? No. I don't think it was Media Molecule. I mean, Media Molecule no, made Media Dreams. Yeah, Media Molecule is still making Dreams. Let's find out who made it. I don't know. I want to play the new Sackboy with everyone. It looks kind of fun. Is there like a game making aspect to it or is it nope, just more it's, like it's, a... it's just the game. So Sharky probably hates it. Is it four player co op? Yep. Egg Carrier. Like, yeah. Hot shelter. Yeah, that's what I meant. Hot shelter. This is more like cold, safe place. No, no, no. No, no, no. down here. It's made by... My ass games. Sumo. Yeah. Uh, 
Sumo Digital. They made Sega Superstar Tennis. They're in good hands. <laughs> So I'm gonna say, oh, oh wait, no wait, they didn't actually. They made app version, the 3DS version. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they also they made Little Big Planet three, so there's probably no character creation. Oh yeah, Media Molecule didn't make that one. Everyone hates it. Snake Pass. <laughs> oh, it opened that door. Ooh. They made Team Sonic. They made a Texas Chainsaw Massacre game in 2023, I guess. And they ported a lot of games. Is that it for this one? You open the door. Yeah, I guess I gotta go through that door. They helped support Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. They're fucked. <laughs> They're fucked. Dude, that game's always... It's, like, such a disappointment. They just added the Joker, and it's... It's, like, so upsetting. Just the Joker's personality. The little bomb they put in their necks. They're trying to tell them to put one in the Joker. And he takes up the thing to do it. And Joker goes, put it in me. And then he's like, nah, fuck, I can't do it anymore. You made it weird. And that's the whole joke. And I'm like, what a funny... What a great game. I love this game. So they just stole Angel Dust's, like, personality. Like, it's something he'd be like. Yeah. Oh, back here. I gotta get back outside. Where the fuck? I'm getting a little disoriented, Wait, like. Where, where do you go? Okay, if you want to get outside, go back behind you. Up this way? Or? No, 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 that way. Yeah, through through the gate. that gate? Yeah. It, but that takes you, like, to the bottom of the level. But, I mean, I guess it doesn't take too long to get back up because we added those stairs that can shortcut us up to the top of the castle. Oh, yeah, is that where we have to go? Yeah, the door was up there. And I think right in there should be the throne room where they're like, this is it, the final confrontation with Spectre. No, it isn't. It's just some big statue they got to fight while still just keeps playing this one song. Like, I like the song, but hearing it for 45 minutes straight. And, like, the loops are long, but they're so repetitive they don't feel like it. They feel like they're 20 seconds. This song sucks. Like, drum and bass is cool, but, like, this is, like, people are like, oh my god, like, Ape Escape is, like, the best drum and bass game. Like, no. Bomberman Hero has this beat. I want to play Bomberman Hero. So do I. I want to play, like, every Bomberman game. Bro. The only one I played was the DS one, just because, like, I had to get it before it went extinct. Bomberman. And I played it, and it's a multiplayer-based game. It would be awesome to play with you guys, because I think it is download play, so you don't need the game. Bomberman. If we can link up and play it, that would be awesome, because it's eight-player Bomberman that uses two screens as, like doubling the size of the arena so you can go between the screens and stuff if we get bomberman are we have to get it for the playstation they have it for the league because well, they have it no no uh, is it r where it has ratchet oh yeah yeah bomberman r yeah yeah master chief is cool but like nintendo didn't get anybody once again they, who samus would have been awesome oh you fight this or no this is just a ship to get away this is it this is it luigi I do love Spectre's theme, like, best song in the game. Even better than the Hot Spring, I admit. Is that the one that's like, then? It's this what's playing right now. Yeah. His gat armrests. I don't think you ever fight him. You just race him in these otherworldly levels. Who did they get to voice the Spectre in All-Stars, I wonder? He's had so many voices. Why is Baron Praxis as Clancy Brown the first one? <laughs> for for the entire game. Yeah. And Katie Cat is second. Charlene Carmen, is that the original? I don't know. Before she I think she's dead now. Yeah. She played Katie and No, she only Cheap Cheap Chicken. She only played it for All Stars. 
So it's possible maybe she... Uh, was she dead in 20... I don't know when she 2013. died. 2013. Damn, that was 11 years ago. T.C. Carson, I think that's just the original voice of Kratos. Mask Casella? That's Daxter? Yeah. He's a handsome man for Dexter. You're gonna die. Yeah. Is there, I don't think there's any health drops in this area. Yeah, this looks Is this the... Like, yeah, I'm just doing stupidly. David double W. Collins. Oops. Touching enemies the, kills you. Is the negativity... What, what? Really? Armstead Christian. How many lives do I have? Six. All right. PJ. And we still got three lives. We died like three times today and we have more lives than before that. Armstead Christian came back for PJ, which is happy. I know he died. He did? Yeah. He also played Perhaps his dad. Oh my god. How old were these people? That's the thing too because they're not like well known. Like you never know like what happened with them. They're not like in a public eye. Which I mean I guess was better for them. Just like don't be famous please. It also kind of, like, keeps the illusion of, like, the characters. Like, when you know they're just played by a celebrity or, like, someone famous, like, oh, that's just Monica Rial again. That's just, like, Tom Hanks. Two, like, jarring examples I know, but, like... Steve, Stefan Kornikard played Sir Dan, and he didn't even play Sir Dan in the remake of Medieval. <laughs> oh, I don't think you have to hit him in the back. I think you just hit him wherever. Oh, he... Well, you didn't it. catch Spectre. Good job. Cassie? Who the hell's that? Is she the girl in this? There's got like a spider like thing on her. That's a lot of monkeys. Like, did I catch them all? What do five? I can't recount. At least the more I catch now. The game's not done. What the heck? Um, you do this next one while I go down this rabbit hole. Really... That was a long level I played too. Yeah. She plays her in this game and everyone in Hot Shots Golf. <laughs> you know, ha, Bob the Builder! <laughs> plays Dizzy and Rolly? Oh my god, my childhood is complete. <laughs> Carmelita Gray Delisle, I Wait. believe is. Present day, they don't call it Futurama anymore. Uh, Wait. So in the original, it implies that this is the future and then this, it's the present. Well, Futurama was just the name of their. Hound, I believe. I'm sure they just couldn't get away with it anymore. Maybe because they, you don't patent the name of like a random level in a game, but like the show, yeah, they patent that you name. You can see the square cut out around the earth of the little. Yeah. Yeah. But Grey Delisle is Carmelita. That is the voice of for Carmelita. And she's but also Hannah. She makes noises in this game? That's it. I do like this song. Oh, they kind of... I don't remember being this detailed. It has to be the same buzz voice. That buzz voice. Jason yeah, Donovan. Jason Donovan. Donovan. Yeah, the singer. Flynn Flynn is Ryan, of course. Dread Fox is Parappa. Did the you watch the digital game on the canceled Metal Gear games? I did. I found it interesting that, like, Ryan was supposed to have a more traditional game. Yeah, and then... The a lot of the ideas they spread, though... So it might have just been a complete shit game, because, like, isn't it the story and all that sucks, but, like, the gameplay is platinum game, so it's well, good. Well, the story is non... It, I, you can't say it sucks, because that's not the fucking point, you know what I mean? Well, yeah. But the gameplay is the point, so yeah. if it had not that gameplay, it wouldn't have just been a horrible game. I do like this, like, they're breaking in. <laughs> How can it be taken over by Spectre's forces while he's gone if he's in the future? Yeah, can't you just go to it? It doesn't feel like time travel, it just feels like they're going to different places. We don't have enough time in... A movie about time travel is insane to me. Yeah. Yeah, Dread Fox is Parappa, which is him in the original, but he just sounds... 
If they high pitched his voice a little bit, it sounds just like Parappa. Oh shit, did you talk? Her mouth is too small. Let's see how they control this. Moment of truth. They got the guy from the Twisted Metal 2012 game to play Sweet Tooth. That's fine. The directional button. Oh no. Wait, did we just make it the original controls? So. Yeah, we just remapped it to be the original controls. Because you have to use the D-pad. But I think, I think it's on and, tank controls. Left and right, I think, are... Reverse. Yeah. We might have to switch that. Yeah. That's the only thing. Fuck, that's gonna make our camera inverted. I'm, I can deal with that. Who's Box Propoli? Get off the gas pedal to stop it every time. I don't know what that means. I'm doing it with inverted <laughs> controls. Someone's lying. Someone's lying. I can't. Alright, moving on from that. Is Kenya half the way the original Sonny Funny? Yes, she is. Okay, good. Wait a second. They replaced Sunny in Parappa 2? I guess. Hold on. That's crazy. Parappa the Rapper 2. Leah, Laurie, and Olimar. But they got the original Sunny back for her, so she wasn't in 2, but they got her back for All-Stars. Being in your own cunt would be cool. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, it's this is a full world, and then you go to the carnival, which is the longest level by far. Like 50 monkeys. The song's good. Oh, right. They got Josh Keaton for Jack, which is the Jack 4 Jack. He's like, let me teach you some manners. He's Jack 4 Jack trying to play Jack 2 and 3 Jack. Hold it right there, sir. I will... Don't make me get mad at you. <laughs> David K. No, no. That that guy's Eric Layden is the guy from the second infamous. Who is Greg? The fuck? Is that the Buzz like announcer that's not like not not Buzz himself, but like that one who asked the questions? Cause that's the Buzz question. Oh, you're uh, right. Like, this is unacceptable. Like, that these big stairs are a ramp. Best song in the game. 
The, the girl that plays the little sister is the girl that played the little sister in the original little sister game. I mean, uh... I'm positive that's the original, so Richard McGonagall. Yeah. Yeah. Kevin Miller. Chris Murphy, yeah, that checks out. Matt Olson, that checks out. Nolan North, I don't know who that is. Who was the guy I originally was checking on this for? Spectre. Oh, Spectre. James Arnold Taylor, it should have been the original. <laughs> Could you imagine if All-Stars got uh, What's-His-Face back? Yeah. That'd be insane. Why can't I catch the bee with the bug net? No, the entire bee dropped ammo larger than it. Get in the arena, let's go. Ellie Langford? Who the fuck is that? Oh, Ellie from... Oh, uh... Dead Rat, Dead Space. He's like, hello, Ellie. How's Strauss? How's Strauss doing? Not you, I don't care about how you're doing. I care about you a lot. I'd give an, eye, an arm and leg and an eye for you. This is a great game. Polygon Man has an unknown voice actor. <laughs> Spectre is not credited. Oh, there we go. Spectre. Annoying footsteps. Only one footstep in. Nothing in this water. So in the original Ape Escape, it's an unknown voice actor in Pete Burroughs. Ape Escape 2, it's Mark Silk and Greg Abbey. Why does he have two voice actors listed? Pumped and Primed, which is one I don't know if I'll play based on the title being sexual. You're scaring me. Uh, Ape Escape on the Loose, uh, D. Bradley Baker. D. Bradley Baker? God damn, this guy's done a lot of shit. SpongeBob. I don't I don't know any of these roles. I've never seen someone do so many roles that I didn't know. How the fuck can he be the voice of Perry when Perry doesn't fucking say anything? Ah! What the fuck? Did you die? Yeah. Every time he walks up to you, he just leaves. Yeah, I don't know anything Do Bradley Baker has done. That's really annoying. Hey, even if you die, you have him now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Here, I have the shit. 
shit. Yeah. The it story changes. <laughs> reading all that. It scared you that bad that you have to shit now? Oh, fuck. I'm gonna kill that robot to prove a point. That's probably punishment. That's not what I do. Did it. Easy peasy. I hate how loud his fucking footsteps are. That's where I started. This is where it ended. Get up there. No, invisible wall. Alright, so we're done here. You know the game's edgy when it has kids spelt with a Z. Fuck. No, that's not gonna work. Oh my god, this is... So It's so hard to control. Well, that was easy. I really can't get up there with this. No, I just can't make it. Nothing.
God damn. Fuck off with this shit. Oh my god, this fucking thing. wiping like even after what? like having the bidet like it's hard to go back to wiping after like oftentimes i try to hold it till i get home <laughs> now that you've tasted freedom yeah <laughs> kids let's see i feel like every toilet now should just be installed with bidets in them <laughs> every toilet should just add my ass on it richard do you have bidets in, in great britain no they don't have any good days in britain Blue Hedgehog, I forget where you're from, if you're from the U.S. or Europe, but regardless, do you have the days? I think Blue Hedgehog's U.S. Hot Shots Europe. Oh. Okay. <laughs> should be, like, little flags next to them. Yeah. Update your profiles. Put flags next to them. This is what they should have besides, like, pronouns. Just, like, put little flags for your oh, own country. Oh, fuck. This is, like, Donkey Kong hell. Cause you got the monkeys and the rolling barrels, but it's just not fun. No, oh, <laughs> alright. Or maybe Donkey Kong Heck. Heck? Yeah, like it's not too bad. I can't get in there, so there must be another way to get in. Mm -hmm. From like another room, yeah. Yeah. This is like Vanished Cat Mario area, but like hell version. What? I always like those areas. I think, like, the reason I like Mario 64 is, like, it has that liminal space kind of, like, um, psychology to it. Like, the back rooms. Like, yeah. very, like, empty-looking areas, but, like, and people, like, they like, oh, it's a creepy area. Like, the game gives off bad vibes or some shit like that. To me, it's like I like that stuff. Like, they feel like, like, Wet Dry World Fuck. is, like, the most com- It just ends? They just yeah. fall? This is bad. Like, the, this is- This is, like- GM, uh, geometrically what, what dry, stupid. What dry world? What dry world? <laughs> yeah, but they're like, what dry world gives like weird vibes to people? Like they feel discomforted by it. But I'm like, I always find it relaxing. Like, it's like this empty place, like with a city underwater in the background. You find it relaxing? Like it's fascinating. Like, like it's artistically like very interesting. So the barrels just don't hurt you. I I think. I don't exactly know what it's supposed to- oh. This is like the most shovelware-y PlayStation IP. Uh, ooh, I think there's competition there. Yeah. Anything like Sansaru put their hands on. <laughs> hands on Zero. <laughs> wow, oh my god. Sparrow 4. Sparrow 4 is probably the most shovelware-y. Uh, it's not really Sony though. Yeah. Yeah, like Sony made this. Those look kind of like the Rabbites and Mana games. Why are they now getting four form? <laughs> I got crackers and cheese in the fridge if you want some. Oh, cool. Okay. Are these empty? No. 
three left. I'll, I'll leave you two. Wait, we, we, I do have specialty Oreos. I got churro and um, dirt cake. There you go. All right. <laughs> we'll start with the crackers and cheese. Let's start healthier. I also have special humor. I was like, ah, oh, this is flat me thinking that he had to go over. No, he said it was. This one I thought of. Um. 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 The, the physics for the underwater net just don't work. Yeah, I got Oreos last week when Connor was supposed to come over and then his phone, his beautiful $1,300 AI translating phone just stopped working. I wonder, like, I feel bad, but, like, was it all worth it, Connor? Like, it has all this cool stuff, but it can't receive calls or texts. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the trash can not opening. So, it, like, $90 and it lost its function. That's sad. Yeah. That's like some creepy vibes. Like she wasn't there. She wasn't there. Take me to the fair in my underwear. What are you gonna take? Hmm? It's like like grabbing. I'm seeing these from Stephanie, and it's like, hey, it's me and you. <laughs> Is she an AI? Like, she's not yeah. real. Yeah, she's a computer. Like, she doesn't have... The, the professor I made say, her and he put his own insignia on her. I should say... Not that, but... Are all these cracked in half? Um... More so... I mean, if she, does she looks have a exact, physical form? I don't think so. So if she looks exactly like they do, does that mean she's like a deep fake? In the oh, world? fuck. Do you remember this? You drive the tank. Yeah. I bet they fixed it, though. Because wasn't it like you have to use both control yeah. sticks? I'm sure it actually just plays like a video game now. What if they're like tank controls? Does it just move normally? Yeah. Yeah, they, they knew what to do. Yeah. This remake, perfect example of less is more. Well, some people need to realize that sometimes playing like a game is not a bad thing. Yeah. Sometimes being traditional can help. Didn't Sakurai say that? Yeah. He says it's all good to go for a niche audience, which, you know, that is a legitimate choice for you. But a lot of times gamers just want things to be simple and fun. Yeah. Yeah, Mark Brown touched on it, like... Certain game, like the casual gamers, they don't want to have to put all this time into a game. They just want to like wind down after a day of work and enjoy themselves. And that's why Animal Crossing. Yep. Doom and Animal Crossing, like Doom Eternal and Animal Crossing, like the polar opposite games came out on the same day. Sharky is definitely like, I want to invest my time and like get really good at this and be rewarded for it. See, I just like life is too short. I don't yeah. want to spend a thousand hours on one game. Exactly. Yeah. Like, I'm willing to, like, I want to try Sin and Punishment on the harder difficulties, but it's because we you can beat it in a sitting. It took us two just because, like, we did shorter streams, but, like, within two hours we beat it. Like, after failing and having to start over, like, an hour and a half. So that's a, a, a game I'd be willing to put the time into, because it wouldn't be, like, oh, I just finished, uh, like... I don't know, like three houses or something. Yeah, I just finished it on the easiest difficulty. I'm just going to go do the whole game again on like a harder mode. Like, no. I couldn't ever picture playing a fine game. I, I don't know. I, I want you to, just not three houses. <laughs> it's just too long. And like... Everyone says too, they should start too, with it's Awakening. too much quantity or quality. Yeah, Awakening is a good starter. It's like, it's the first like modern Fire Emblem. Is it crashing? What is happening? That was horrible. I didn't know what was happening. Hey, the Sony gamers becoming disjointed with the game. Nice going.
<laughs> I'm kidding. I don't think PSP games came out for 60. Bought Trails in the Sky for like 120. Not at retail price, you didn't. No, yeah. I wonder how much it went for. What was the MSRP? What was the NPR on that? Who was funding their PR team? Smegma team. Bravo to Smegma team. I told Stephanie what Smegma was. She's now disgusted. Because it's gross. <laughs> she found a video of a guy getting like... 10 year old Smegma taken off. Ew. You can get, wait, 10 year old Smegma? have to use the tank. Do I have to get another one? Hold on. They didn't do anything to it. Hold on. I got one more. Did it always have like a little machine gun in the original? Mm -hmm. That skybox, though. Mm -hmm. How was I supposed to dodge that? <laughs> That's my new. F Is that the noise of this? I don't know. Well, it's gone now, so I'm happy. <laughs> Oh, this fucking room. Oh, God. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy, this game. It's like walking into a subway. <laughs> you smell that shit, and you're just like, ugh, this is gonna be bad. But then you're like, it's cheap as fuck. You know Wendy's is the most expensive fast food place? Really? Yeah. And it's the worst one, too? Yeah. Well, they got some things. Like, they got those Baconator fries. Hmm. I haven't been to Wendy's in a long time. So we went with a. Uh, you're right. No, no, no. You're right. We but went... since then, yeah, I don't remember the last time I went to a Wendy's. I didn't want to go to Wendy's. To be fair, yeah. that's what they decided to go to. It just sucks that it was all a waste because we didn't end up going to that bowling alley. We could have gone to like somewhere way closer to Shaker. Yeah. Then we could have shaked her down. We should just never go to spare time anyway. Yeah, it's all Knowing how busy it is and not bowling, it is. It's so corporate now. Yeah. Speaking of, like, I went to Red Robin last night, like, just to get takeout. How was the blue? They haven't remodeled yet. Okay. Um, I heard they were getting blue props. And yeah. I was like, what's the fucking point? I know. Um, but they've already started, like, a corporate thing. Like, the hosts, like, they all have, like, the little, like, transceiver. Like, not walkie talkies, but, like, the ones that are, like clips of their collars and like they speak into them so that's how they communicate now um and apparently the prices are jacked up way more because i spent like 37 dollars for myself oh that sucks i know but i got like the two like ltos like i got um the lava queso burger which was the most disgusting like messiest thing i've ever eaten but it was really good it's, it's, not the, poor, it's not the most disgusting thing. Like, ever. disgusting in terms of feeling and looking. Is that you pour queso on top of the burger, so the entire thing is just encased in it. You mean cheese? So, yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> and it had, like, herbs in it, too, so it was like kind of like lava with rocks in it. Like, I'm a little interested. I, just... I heard it was... It's better to eat there because, like, they put some thing on it where, like, it pours the lava on. Well, if you get it to go, you just, they put it on the side and you have to pour it yourself. Um, but, like, you can't touch anything after. You have to go wash your hands and, like, it takes a while to wash your hands off. Like, it just sticks to you. Um, and I got the chocolate-covered pretzel milkshake. Ew, what? It was, it was good. It's kind of like a salty shake. I don't know you. <laughs> Maybe I'm getting fat, because, like, I ate all that, and garlic fries, and I wasn't, like, 
stuffed like I usually am at Red Robin. Like, sometimes I'm like, I feel sick, like, after. <laughs> I, I was full, but, like, I was like, that was good. Like, I'm satisfied, and, like, I don't feel gross. I think that's fucking disgusting. Yeah, yeah, yeah it kind of was. I won't get it again just because of how messy it was. The shake was good. Um, I had the choice last night because we got a thing really late. It started at 9, so we ended up getting home at, like, midnight. Yep. And she goes, oh, do you want to get, like, McDonald's or something? And I was like, no, I'll go without. I'd rather go without eating than go to McDonald's. <laughs> I told uh, you about so. the bad McDonald's experience I had last week, right? No. Like, when I went to the laundromat. Oh, right, right. Where they blocked the bathroom off and they got rid of the McDonald's sauce. They canceled that shit quicker than the end of Pride Month. <laughs> like, no, yeah, no more, com- no more manga bags. No more. I, I, like, I... Just throughout this whole time, I wanted to try it because I heard it was like a sweet, like chili sauce or something. I don't know the significance of like Japan with that, but I've I've usually only gone to McDonald's at breakfast time, so I wanted to try the McDonald's sauce and it's already gone. I don't even know it was a thing. I I thought it was just. Well, that's the whole thing on the manga where they're all trying the new McDonald's sauce, and it's like it's the we totally understand what Japanese culture is about. We get it. All right, we get it. You had a bomb drop on you and you're mad at us, all right? <laughs> that's it. For, for people watching at home, that's a joke. Like, Fuck! The, like, the way they think that anime is, is, like, more of an insult than two bombs. <laughs> that's, why, that's why I coined the term American anime. Like, when they think they know what anime is and they're trying to, like, parody it and, like, it's so off. But... Then you watch shit like round one happens. Like maybe this is bad. Maybe maybe people do just shout at each other, and fight each other for no reason. Oh, so I've been watching Big Bang Theory with Stephanie. Oh, I'm and sorry. It's not. It's not terrible. Hmm. I think there's some funny parts about it. Um, the funniest part so far is we just passed an episode with fucking Eric Andre in it. <laughs> He's just like a dude. Right? He's yeah. just a dude. He just plays a dude. And I was just like, it's weird to see him just acting. Yeah. It might have been before the, his show. And I guess Will Wheaton, if you know who that is, mm-hmm. is just like a, a side character, like a permanent side character in the show mm-hmm. because he's in Star Trek. But I don't give a fuck about Will Wheaton. Mm-hmm. Apparently Joss Wheaton like, made Toy Story. <laughs> or he was like one of the writers or producers or whatever. What the hell are you talking about? Joss Whedon, like, he worked on Toy Story. Like, the guy that made Buffy. Yeah, with with Steve Jobs. Oh. I almost said the other guy's actual name. Uh, <laughs> both bald. One should be what the other is. Sorry. Dead? Yeah. I think Steve Jobs it's a better person. Steve Jobs is another example of, like, they kind of, like, tarnished him after he died. Like, Apple started doing making a lot of changes, like, as soon as he died. Yeah. And one good change is they made their, like, lightning uh, charger, which now they don't have anymore because of the lawsuit, but... Fuck me. Like, I get that they shouldn't have their own proprietary charger, but oh. it, it's just better than the Type-C. Not by much. Like, the Type-C is fine, but, like, the lightning is even better. Type C. Um, it's like what you have. Yeah, but it stops Apple from being douchebags and yeah, charging so much fucking extra money for hardware you don't need. But like, I like the Lightning charger more because like it, it doesn't have like the circuitry open on the end, like it's smoothed off. And that's why you're the problem. Yeah. You're okay with people scamming. Nothing's worse. It's not as bad as Elon though with the Tesla chargers. Yeah, that's like bullshit. we're trying to push for. Everyone's switching to EVs, but because Teslas have their own proprietary charger, it's like, it's so much worse than, like, an Apple charger that's, like, a $20 thing. It's also funny. So, when you... Here's, here's a little bit of a, uh... Um... A learn ya, real quick, <laughs> alright? When you... Um, essentially, it's like you're, you're using less carbon, I think it is, 
or like you're not you're creating a big carbon footprint. Yep. You um, get little cards saying how good you're doing, or little like things saying how good you're doing, with how little you've used, right? Yeah. And those cards can be used for a multitude of things, but Elon Musk actually used Tesla to sell his own cards to companies with larger footprints to make it look like they didn't mm. have larger footprints. Right? Yep. It makes their companies look better, and he's making money while doing so. Yeah. It's the fucking scummiest, dumbiest, yeah. funniest thing. They should have, heard. like, Time Magazine, like, worst people of the year, and he should be on there. Bro, he fucking... He had a baby with a girl who does, like, techno music. <laughs> Like, I guess he does have some kind of riz in him. <laughs> Elon Musk, the real Elon Musk here. You can buy riz, though. He just bought his own yeah. riz. Or, no, I'm sure he claimed ownership of riz. Yeah. Said he invented he, it. He said, I am the riz. <laughs> I am the rizzler. Yeah, I'm just doing what's required. Bro, I found the funniest video. It's stayed gone from Has Been Hotel, but every rhyme is swapped. <laughs> <laughs> so he says, I've been better since he shit. <laughs> <laughs> that one really gets me. <laughs> I'm still drinking this Pepsi. It just keeps refilling itself. Bro, That's it's nitro about it. It's like when you're eating pasta and there's more in the bowl than when you started. <laughs> you ever feel that way? Mm. Oh, this move! Oh, fuck! <laughs> it's not just crumbs. <laughs> Shoot. I was like, how do I get over there before I knew what I was moving? I hate this fucking stage so fucking yeah. much. These Doritos are like Rare's like way of doing collectibles with like nuts and bolts. Like, oh, just run out of line and pick them up. That's it. But, you know, they don't do anything. You know, I'm planning on doing an unpopular opinion video. <laughs> nuts and bolts is the best band game. No, but I'm essentially saying it's not as bad as people say it is. It's not a good banjo game, but that doesn't mean it has to be a bad video game. You know what I mean? Again, the whole John John thing is like, it's not. It should have been Tip Top. How much do you think the game would have gotten better reception if it was Tip Top? Hmm. I think the car mechanics are fun. Having a variety of ways to solve each mission is fun. What the? What the Helen Kellen? What the fuck do I do? This is such a waste of time just to get to this yeah. fucking platform. God damn. Spectre? Oh, sure. Shirt. Sure. Well, and I also like the vibe of nuts and bolts like just driving around the world even though there's not a lot i know criticism it's like yakuza like i just like the vibe of walking around the city well yakuza i got into when i played it more off stream i think on stream i get too much into a, a mindset of like get it done get it done get it done right <laughs> but when you can turn off your brain and not worry about not getting things done and just do what you do i think yakuza is a better game that's when i started vibing with it a lot more Ow. <laughs> Ow, he's right. Michael Keaton. Oh. Jokes on you, the monkey hit me first. Bah. Why does he keep saying camcorder? Hit me. Hit me. Come on. Hit me. Come on. Pussy. Can't even hit me. <laughs> this just brings me back. Hit again. Hit the bridge down. He jumped over. Of a... No, it's blocking the whole door. Oh. Something <clears throat> probably from the other side. 
So there must be another way in here I need to go, but I don't know. The fucking... Oh. Oh! That's oh, so cool! I knew it was Eureka the whole time. Me tomorrow the whole time. Eureka! Eureka, 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 Eureka! Eureka. <laughs> Paprika. Paprika. Paprika meets tomorrow. Paprika meets tomorrow. I made like a delicious breakfast this morning. Eggs, bacon, and corned beef hash. Mm. Salt, pepper, and toast. I still love my um, meal prep recipe for breakfast that I made. The egg muffins. Egg muffins? They're muffins made of egg. So like... Something's bursting out of there, right? Yeah film set design like you know something's gonna burst out um yeah you blend eggs and cottage cheese and salt and pepper together and then you can put whatever you want in it so i just did like sausage and an onion i made the mistake of freezing the second half of the onion so when i took it out a week later it was all mushy you froze it yeah i want to just curious um But yeah, you can put literally whatever you want in. And you put that in, like, muffin tins. So I use the ones that you gave me. I gave you muffin tins? Yeah. Bro, the, the shit I give you is never, like... Like, <laughs> it leaves my hand, and apparently I don't acknowledge it exists anymore. <laughs> you were like, yeah, you left me... You left the, uh, the braces thing here. Like, you know... Oh, yeah. Asper cream. <laughs> Sorry, I got nothing for Asperger's. You must be a, a good protagonist. Yeah, you must be a good protagonist, according to the Yik developer. <laughs> oh, it's just Yik. Most people call it Yik. There's nothing... People don't understand, there's nothing wrong with liking a game that's bad. Hmm. Right? So, like, people are, like, they're defending the game and all this shit, but, like, it's bad. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's not, like, you can... It's like, is the room good? No. No. I'm not gonna shit on you for liking it, but it's you can't fucking sit here and lie to me. Fucking disgrace. That was so quick. This is this is turning out to be worse than Metlock, bro. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Switch to your helicopter. No, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Please, please give me cookies. It's like the fire truck showing up after the family put the fire out themselves. What is this over here? <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> that was an assassination. Bro, I fucking creamed my jeans when that happened. Yeah, the egg muffin recipe. So, like, you just put whatever you want in the bottom of the muffin tins. And then you blend the egg and the cottage cheese and pour them into the tins and just throw them in the oven for 18 minutes. And 18? Then, yeah, it takes a while, but, like, then you have 12 muffins, so you're set for the week. And you just put the rest in the fridge, like, as long as you eat them that week. So it takes a while to make on Monday morning, but then I'm set, yeah, until, like, Thursday or Friday. should bring me some one day. Mm -hmm. They are good. Or I can just make them all. Oh, you're right. Make them right now. <laughs> Do you have muffin tins? Oh, no, you don't because you gave them me. Bro. <laughs> I made eggs so well today that I'm like proud of myself. This guy, this guy stinks. But I want to find like more meal prep breakfast recipes. This is like breakfast, like you really should be eating it every day. Like it is the most. You important fucking meal. bastard! Mm. Now it's cooked sausage. Yeah, it's, oh. that's cookies. Cookie. Oh. But like you, you shouldn't skip out on breakfast. Like it does get you like energized for most of the day. Yeah. And you eating are. something like a Jimmy Dean breakfast just makes you feel gross Fucking at the end of the day. crap baskets, bruv. What? Say that again? Like, Jimmy Dean breakfast sandwiches, like, just make you feel gross. So I can't really eat those I don't... Anymore. I stopped eating frozen breakfast, because you know I used to eat those, um, those hot dog, uh, Yeah. Or it's, it was sausage and pancake, right? Hmm. Those breakfasts. But, like, at a certain point... I still have some in my fridge from when I last bought them. I just haven't eaten them because I'm like, I just I just don't want them. I'd mm -hmm. rather just make my own breakfast. My thing is I've, I've been waking up earlier for the specific purpose of eating. Yeah. But then it I'm just so takes a tired while. Like, every day you gotta sit there and make it every, like all the time. 
I've been still doing the thing where I make extra portions for work. Yep. Um, which I might have to do. We're gonna go to the store. It's just us today, you know. Hmm. Is it me, or is catching monkeys so much easier in this? Yeah. Like, like to an extremely notable degree. I don't know if it's better controls, and it was always this easy. You don't need to pull, like, do a lock and key pulley mechanism just to swing your net. Have a fucking Rube Goldberg machine just yeah. to get one monkey in my pants. Only to miss and then have to reset the whole thing. Yeah. Get a game over and then it's game over. Walk again. all the way back here. Get a game over and then it's game over, man. <laughs> then and only then. That's how you get you. Thank God, it's over. This stage sucks. <laughs> this <stage> sucks. <laughs> That meme still fucking kills me. Spongebob. Mm -hmm. Did the 3DS servers just go down or something? Yeah, I think like everything online really is completely down now. What's oh. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye, nurse. <laughs> Present day. <laughs> TV tower is not as bad as the stage I just did. We just got. No, it's this capture spectre, but you don't capture him here. Like it's it's Doctor Wily, another overrated franchise. Doctor Wily. That <laughs> is such a good death battle. Spectre versus Doctor Wily. You keep thinking like it's KO. No way. Okay. <laughs> this should be that. Like you think one kills the other, and it's not. Like the battle hasn't even actually started. Not only that, but their robot minions aren't their actual robot minions. They're them brainwashing other things to be their minions. It should be the most frustratingly padded out battle. <laughs> and it has stuff like this in it. I don't think they're gonna top Eggman Wily though. Mm. They've shown interest in doing Bowser Eggman and making it be an army battle. Mm. But I don't know how interested I am in another Mario vs. Sonic. Give us Neo Cortex versus or uh, Ripto versus Zabic or whatever it was. It was Black War Greymon versus Mew too. I still think Super Saiyan Five and Mew Three is a good idea. That's so funny. The fact that someone paid Brandon Yates three hundred and fifty dollars for that is legitimately amazing. Bro, it's sad I can't even find any of the old Mew 3 designs I used to be able to find. Kill those things. He's above the water, though. I'm gonna fall in the water. Uh, for some reason, I thought you were about to say he's above the law. You can't catch him. I also bought um, Island Punch for a drink. I don't know what it is, <laughs> what fruits are in it, but it sounds good. I think the people who make these juices forget that... There's more than one island with tropical fruit. Mm. There we go. It wasn't so bad. It only took more than half your health. Why is this... I hate the camera. And it hates you too. You could change it with the right stick. No, but it's... Why is it pointing straight down? Like, there's nothing... You always run into them when they're flailing. Every single time. This is a bad sign. And all his friends are back. Why do they drop three slingshot things? I think they want you to kill them with the slingshot. They do. <laughs> Don't you hate it when you slow motion fall into a vat of water? Not only do they want you to use the slingshot to kill them, they expect you to use a lot of bullets to do so. Bro, I'm never, I'm never gonna go, I'm never gonna go bounty hunting with you. Every time you're about to catch them with a net, they shoot you. 
This one monkey. This is the PS1 monkey. I can leave. It was daytime outside. I'm pretty sure it was daytime outside. Yep. I just want to check. I, I'm pretty sure it was daytime. No, it's night. I was pretty sure it was it was daytime. At some point in the day, it was daytime before it was nighttime, but... You did it. <laughs> this is a small area. Do they really need to put it in a different loading zone? Oh, I get a PS1. <laughs> Still laughing at the Sonic Rush thing. Enjoy the fall, you little bitch. <laughs> Intended. Fine, I'll do it the way you want. He's behind this song the is annoying. Yeah, people call the Ape Escape composer a genius, but I don't know what kind of Stockholm syndrome they're on. Mm -hmm. But that's insane to me. Can you break it with your Never mind. Make a break with my presence. Yeah, apparently. Watch out! Oh my god! This game is out of this world! It really is. I don't think anyone on Earth could have made what, this atrocity. What, what would be your game where it's like, like people talk shit about it and you're like, it's not that bad? Um. Darkstalkers. No, people don't talk shit about it. People just don't talk about it. <laughs> I have some. I just think. Like... Sonic 06. Sonic had sex. <laughs> There's a clock. Mm. Is this like a tall level? Relo. No. <laughs> I remember being able to like look up and see the whole level. So if you fall down, you're all the way back down. Where's our third monkey? Bro, you only caught one. There's two monkeys you have to find. In this little area? Yep. Maybe they're outside? I didn't see anyone out there. Uh, I get, I'm gonna Is this one of those games where you have to do the final game. boss twice? Once when you beat it, and then once again when you 100% armor? Remember. Maybe for like a stupid cutscene of like... Spectre! Setting up for the second game, that's what we wanted. Everything we just did means nothing, because Spectre's back. Isn't that just... Eggman? Yeah. In, In the water, water probably. probably. In the water. I didn't see anything down there. What was that? Something underneath. How do you get under there is the question. Can you... Oh, wait, I remember. I remember. What? Go into that room. And fly up. Doesn't it select? Yeah, it opens that immediately. It's somewhere here you can go up. Or not. Am I just wrong? Do you hit the clock with something? <laughs> Try slingshotting the clock. No. Maybe shoot a slingshot that's explosive down into the water? Uh, who's shooting missiles at you? I don't think there's anything outside. It didn't look like it. Well, like, why have this whole area? <laughs> Out of curiosity's sake, I'm gonna look at our old footage. Oh, can I go in these doors? No. What a waste of fun. Yeah, use our old stream as a reference. Yeah. I wanna see if we got confused here in our old stream. Did we do that for a level of, like, we just went to yeah. the old stream? Yeah. <laughs> uh, this one will be easier to find, though. Yeah. I didn't think anything out here would require the boxing glove because of this. Try 
means the game is a soft lock. It's not at a soft lock, Chris. Play Dave Escape. Hey, the enemies didn't respawn. This song's aggravating for hearing for an hour. Yeah. This and Sonic Adventure 1 should have swapped the music for how long like you hear them versus how long you're in the level. I could get down to like Red Mountain playing here. I think the game's been on too long. Like, it hasn't been, but like, for this game, it's been on too long. Try using the radar. Are we struggling even back then? Yeah. It's the same thing. Yeah, here he is. <laughs> I'm a builder. Can we find it? So there's a button on the other side of the clock. What? What? Understand. Why is it right there? Oh. You were right. Okay. Fucking hell, man. Oh my god, thank god. Water like that, when it drains, should be more realistic. Like, as soon as it opens, like, you hear, like, rushing out and, like, it flows out instead of just, like, as soon as it opens, like... Very, like, digitally just lowers. Like, I know it's just a layer that's being lowered, but, like, if you want it to be realistic, have it actually be flowing out, like, real You would hate water. the water from Spyro 2's, um, Aquarius Towers. Oh, yeah, we're just, like... <laughs> it's just, it's one big object that just drops. Yeah. It's not even liquid, man. It's not even real liquid. They didn't even pour water in the GPU. It's disgusting. It's really the water temple because you don't see what's actually raising or lowering it. You just see it going up and down, so it gets an, the, the excuse. But like we see that hatch opening, so that's where the water is flowing out of. Can I ground pound and like knock them down? <laughs> uh, that'd be a good idea. That'd be something Mario would do. <laughs> He's a better red man. Fun. Speaking of fun, <laughs> row, row, row. I love the camera. Uh, 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 Is that a, like 
like a silent fart? No, it was stretching. What? Go get him, tiger. I have to go in there? Yeah. Oh, no, I don't. I can go he just there. came. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Just Spectre. Oh, I'm so glad it opened. But we're not we're not down here and we're doing this. We're not gonna go back up there yet until we're ready. How are you working with Spider? <laughs> Wee! Back in I go. <laughs> are you working with Smegter? It's Smegtered. Are you working with my head Gertrude on a cookie processing plant? How could the river is not making the boat go away? I mean, that would be stupid. Like, it'd be sad because I couldn't get to it. But, like, it'd There's be real. something above you. Oh, it's a monkey. Hit him with a slingshot. Easy. This game's so Actually, easy. Actually, Chris. No, I don't think you make it high enough. Oh my <laughs> lord. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> You know, this game rewards you for the different play styles. It's okay at best. Yeah. No thoughts? I like it a little late. Well, you have the door open now. Just swim, man. The robot's gonna take so long. But the shockies, they can shock the whole Yeah, oh, this is way better. No. The, the fucking thing was only meant for uh, uh, going against the current. <laughs> this is I hate this camera it's okay it's not the worst PSP game we played this year unless you think Agent Clank is better no Agent Clank is bad but I'm glad I finally played it mm. it's been one of the only Ow. What? Did you cut yourself? I just ripped a scab off. Yeah. Just by accident. Endless yeah. void of river. What's that? Ow, on? man. Uh, Secret Agent Clank has been like a lull in my knowledge of Ratchet and Clank. And now the only one, because I've played Size Matters on PS2, right? Yeah. Now the only one I haven't played, there's only one more. What is it? Full Frontal. Yeah, Full Frontal Assault's the only Ratchet game I've never played. So it truly is the best Ratchet game we've never played. God, that fucking hurt. No elevator animation? No, this isn't Mario Party 5. No, I fucking remember this. Remember this? Yeah, I fucking remember this. Fucking what remember this. this. Remember this? Fuck. Oh, uh, Square. This is like a game grumps out. I'm just living my life. I'm living my best days. Oh. Yeah. Really? Rami? Really? Just look at him like, I don't remember him. I still need to figure out. I need to do research on those Fire Emblem girls. Um. Because they're doing a debate soon. Yeah. Uh, I what? do a lot of research on those girls. If the, their twin... Um, Felicia and Flora. Yeah, Flora. Felicia and Flora. I need to do some research on them. I already know enough about Ram and Rem, but those two, I'm like, uh, I don't know anything about fucking Fire Emblem. Some people said they scale the heroes, and I'm like, no, they fucking don't. Heroes should not be used. Yeah, just because Felicia was like... A day one character, so she's like probably one of the worst. While well, Flora was at like a year or two later, yeah, so she's a little bit better. Well, that would also open them up to multiverse scaling. Yeah, and that's just. But then, like canonically in Face, they say that F Felicia's a better fighter, but she's a poor maid. <laughs> I mean, hey, I'd rather have someone that'll kick my enemy's ass. Yeah. 
It's funny that they also have the same hair pattern, the pink and, uh, pink and blue, I believe is their hair colors. <laughs> I love, like, the no sound effect. Get out of there. Get <laughs> what he sees. Get another tank and beat his ass. Mm. Now, Felicia's, like, my favorite, though. Like, because I think when the game first came out, she was like, oh, this is my favorite character. And even all, like, all the great, like, characters and artwork to come out since then, it's like, it's like the Senja Kahara, like, she was the first, and she's going to say my favorite. <laughs> it's funny that Senja Kahara was the first and the forgotten. Yeah. Felicia's kind of, like, the forgotten. She's only had one alt since the game came out. I really wish just there... comes from like one of the worst fire emblems. I really wish there was like an app game for me. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, there's never been an app game that like Leech like... one like fell off, right? I didn't get into it because it was way too based on um, the gotcha pull elements. Yeah, I mean, Heroes was... is too, but there's so much to do like just yeah. with the characters you have. Heroes I will say is better than Be Bleach Brave Souls. 100. Yeah. I think it is like the best like gotcha game. And there's like the most quality put into it because like all the artwork. <sighs> I mean, said it's health. They've made some Shonen Jump crossover things, but they're all like really bad gotcha pull fighters. Yeah. That I just like I completely lose interest. It's weird that we never heard anything from Jump. That new Jump game that was supposedly supposed to come out. I don't know if the range is good enough. Yeah, I'll at least blow everything else up. I can't reach. <laughs> so mad. So big, yet so dumb. There's a whole level down there, but I don't care. <laughs> a whole ass level down there, but I don't care. I love it. I love it! Said Madara to a ghost man. Eyes and snizens. Get his ass. Who put him in? Just hold your net. Hold your net out. Just wait for him. What? <laughs> He's just going through it. This is shit. <laughs> You're scaring the baby, Chris. It's Dragon Storm by 2 just sponsored Death Battle. <laughs> I don't know what that means. For series they say it might not continue. It means it could continue? I don't know. I'm, I'm setting... Did you kill him? Did yeah. You him? I'm setting my expectations <laughs> not as high. Because I don't want to get really... Like, be Let's like kill Nathan Drake in the Tower of Bible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it's a perfect like introduction for him. Just like... You see, like this is the perspective you see him like the camera kind of zooms in a little bit and you see him like just climbing doing what he do best oh there's two of them Nathan and Sam Sam should be four skins four <laughs> <laughs> yeah he should he was introduced like four skins four skins Dead. I don't know who this guy is, but I want him in his 30s. 
How much would you do for 1.5, Chris? 1.5? Like, can you want 1.5? No. That's a joke at my job when they were like, we're doing the 1.5 races this year. It was like, got milk. It was like, got 1.5. <laughs> what would you do for 1.5? Got another job? I don't understand. What are you supposed to be doing? I guess so. Oh, hands blown. No, it's not. It was selective blowing. Oh, you're supposed to. Okay. Esposa. Esposa is wife in Spanish. Uh -huh. Um. He just went right through. Oh, I see. This game is like unacceptable physics. Dead. Oh. There's a button that goes up. Catch that first monkey first. Oh, there he is. Damn. That was <laughs> that was masterful. That was, good the that was a master composer. You see that chit chit button? <laughs> it's pushing you, Chris. I hate those. <laughs> it's like an emotion. <laughs> Is it uh, the emotion commotion? Promote the emote. 50 F Stop Spectre. Stop fucking jumping and just find the goddamn 50, monkey. 50 fucks on Spectre. I'll put 50 fucks on Spectre. <laughs> like he's at an auction. There's Sold! Fucks. For this douchebag. 50 fucks on where's, Spectre. Where's this fucking fuck? He despawned. <laughs> he spawned. <laughs> so here he is. So you got the net. I suppose so. And what's husband if Esposa is wife? Esponda. Oh. Esponda? That killed my... Like, running faster made me immediately fall off. How does that make any sense? Oh, I need my platform. Bye. I'm fucked. Another life lost, another life fights the dust. Uh, Esposo. Mm. Esposo is husband. You know what, uh, Espada means? What? Sword. Yeah, that's lame. You know what Hueco Mundo is? Dark World. It, te it, it technically translates to something like fiery hell, mm. but it's just hell. Yeah. Catch him. Why are you taking out the arts? Just catch him. Yeah, uh, yeah. Now go back up, because he's the last one. Oh. oh, what? You just passed it, so... Go up. Yes. What the hell was that? <laughs> Is that the game? Oh, another was... monkey? Oh. Blew me off. Three lives just left. Just like <laughs> Sucked me off. Or just like I thought Connor did last week, and then just like he thought I did. But it's all his thirteen hundred dollar phone's fault. But it's only just a lie. Did he get it fixed? What? His phone. What is happening? I'm pushing against it. <laughs> Look at the power of this pose. The power of the heat ray. Where is he? Is it blowing like really hard? Oh, I'm good now. Nice. I hate this level. Yeah. <laughs> 
jump from. Yeah. <laughs> Blue Hedgehog said I have to go, guys. See ya. Alright, enjoy Blue Hedgehog. Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say lucky. Like, I hate this so much. There's only so much you can do to fix a shit game. I'm just saying. Like, if they're like, we remade Star Fox Adventures. <laughs> we remade how it's like House of the Dead, but it's like, we may remade the House of Shit, too. <laughs> uh, where's the thing that <clears throat> was on your left before? Oh, you're right. It was it's so finicky, I can't use the D-pad because it's inverted. A lightning stroke, the Statue of Liberty. Really? And it made that sound. Oh, I thought... That's kind of cool. It didn't like break it, did it? No, I don't think so. It's like not Notre Dame. I had to shoot it again because I died at respawn the glass. Ha! <laughs> 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 the fan. <laughs> shoot it from up here. Yeah. I didn't realize it was broken until I was on the hook. You're fucking hilarious. This game, I can't stand it. This is the frustrating that's game of the why, year. That's why you're sitting down. Yes. <laughs> it's a regional silhouette. <laughs> I love sitting on shows. If anyone asks why Japan Studio went out of business, just show them Ape Escape. Please. <laughs> Do it for me. We were running together like two. It's like a couple frolicking in the meadow. Frolic! Oh, <laughs> shortcut back. Go and frolic, you alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> Have a drink because you sit. <laughs> how do you how do you get mad? Is that what they told Barney? Oh, and that's why he cleaned up his act. You already hit that one. Yeah, that the, the one just stays, but the glass comes back. Glass is stronger than button. Death battle confirmed. <laughs> I'm quite firm with that uh, confirmation. The show, not Death Battle. Nope, goodbye. Just, just did Lester the Unlikely yeah. versus Scott Pilgrim. Why? Yeah, for April Fools. Oh, uh, well, they, they, they still don't have any correlation. Exactly, that's the point. It's that's the, they should be like Unicron versus, who was it, Star Scream? Or no, Re Rainbow Dash. Oh. Unicron versus Rainbow <laughs> Dash? <laughs> Star Scream versus Rainbow Dash. Oh. That's what I meant to say. Um... That they announced the next one they're doing is Spider-Man versus Batman, but the continuity is where Batman's dad became Batman and Spider-Man's uncle Ben became Spider-Man. <laughs> I was like, that's funny. All of all of his are jokes. <laughs> I'm actually gonna have to get these because I like ran out of lives in that room. Um, all of his death battle things are jokes. He did one that, that was like Sharpie versus Highlighter. Oh, an actual elevator with elevator animation? I didn't think they had it in them. I didn't need oh, it's to get the tank down the there. Game. Yeah. To get it back up. You need to get the tank down there. Oh, for hey. What? Did me and you just have the same response? Oh, for that. These stupid boxes they put it. It's like Kingdom Hearts recoded down here. Oh, my God. This game is out of these boxes. Yoi. Yoi, yoi. Yoi, yoi. That episode is so run fucking overrated. It's funny. I hate Duel Bob. I think Bob. it's funny. I, th I hate what the fan base did to Duel Bob. Me, me, me. Like, that's all anyone... Like, Spongebob is the worst quoted show. Yeah, what What did he say? What did he say? The Chocolate. funniest is just the irony of that joke. I think it's one of the funniest, like, set of jokes. Because it's very, like, Looney Tunes. It's like, alright, we gotta fly to the customer. Really old lady answers the door. So it's like, oh, hello, young lady. He's like winking at Patrick. Is your mother home? And then she's like, she calls <laughs> yes. to her mom. And like, her mom's still alive. Like, that's the joke. But it's just like, it keeps going. Then it's not funny anymore. Yeah. But like, just the the idea of it. And then just at the end is like, oh, we, we they reserved this entire restaurant out for their dates. And it's the two old ladies. <laughs> he goes, how long have you two known each other? Bro, people, people are saying like, "Oh, I shouldn't be up here with the game grumps." There's Aaron, <laughs> and there's, there's John. Dan. Oh, that's John. Because uh, I don't think Dan makes jokes like that. Um, 
Yeah, no. They were they were a lot more like that. Uh This is gonna be a mistake, but let's go for it. I don't know if anything worked out. I can't Fuck. open the door. Oh there's only to get back up. I can just fall off with this. <laughs> um Fuck, what was I gonna say, Chris? Can we make this thing go any faster, please? Oh, people are like, why would they waste SpongeBob on Super Friends Aquaman? He should have fought, uh, what is his name from the water show, Gumball? Gumball Waterson? Is that the is that the one where, who is the, the the blue guy? Yeah. They're like people. He should have fought Gumball, and I'm like SpongeBob, the strongest creature in all of creation, versus Gumball, a child. Because <laughs> he has fish brother. Huh? He has a fish brother. So? Yeah. <laughs> Their show doesn't take place underwater. No. He's just a fish brother. So Gumball wouldn't be able to fucking swim. Or, like, breathe underwater. Mm -hmm. SpongeBob could just drag him It'd down. It'd be like a SpongeBob versus, like, fish hooks. <laughs> I know the cartoon ones right now is Luz versus On for Amphibia and Owl House. Mm -hmm. Which you probably don't even know what those are. No. Yeah. Uh, Mordecai and Ribby versus Finn and Jake. Hmm. Peter Griffin versus Homer, which I don't want. They've already did it in the show. They did it in the moon, moon show. I don't think official things should be then in Death Battle, unless it's like they. Didn't... I mean, Scooby and Courage technically officially met, but they did they fight? No. Yeah. See, like if if they officially fought, I don't know. Scooby they think it was wrong. Like Scooby versus Courage is hilarious because that crossover dictated the winner. Yeah. Because. Oh, I guess I really should be blowing up every little thing. Because the computer didn't have any information on Scooby in the crossover. Meaning that he couldn't ask the computer what to do to win, right? Mm -hmm. The way they got around it in the battle is they had, instead of saying, what can I do against Scooby? He said, the computer says back, what do you do about a, a great Dane with a speech impediment day? Eh? That's that's his way of getting around it, but it was just like, eh. the f although the fact that that's the first tie since season two, mm. even though DVX loved tying and you were getting so fucking pissed off about it, I don't know you like tune in to see who's stronger. Don't just tell me they're both stronger. <laughs> they're Everybody both wins. Everybody gets a free gay. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Um. Also, Wumbo. That's another overrated one of joke. Wumbo? Instead of M for mini, I have a W for Wumbo. Wumboology, the study of Wumbo is first grade stuff like... What? The whole, the Murder Man's bell where he turns it upside down, and it's like, said it's a W for Wumbo. If you die and you have to redo all of this, I might just shit my mm -hmm. pants. Um, but the whole beginning of that episode is so good. It's just joke after joke. Like, She's no pulled break. back into the engine. See, there's this battle royale. <laughs> it's not fair. He got the most crossovers, Spectre. Because you get Warhawk, Patapon, Resistance, God of War. Like, there's a lot of crossovers. It sounds it's like Zim. Like Tappen, bro. It sounded like Zim. Yeah. They should do that. Like have character, like have voice actors fuck with the audience. Like just certain lines, that just somebody else reads them. Bro, that'd be insane. Like the the meme that Steve Bloom played Tiny SpongeBob, where he's like, "It's my life, you can make it." Like it was like it was Steve Bloom. I don't think it actually is, but like I believed it. Why would Steve Bloom show up for one scene in SpongeBob? Yeah, like it, it makes no sense. But like I was like, "It's Steve Bloom." I forget what the fuck you're supposed to do. I'm just waiting for it to land. Wait for the opportune moment to hit it. You sure? Yeah. Oh, get out of the way. No, it's functioning like the fan did. We're using this makes you go blow back even more.
I guess that's it. Fight over. It, like, just doesn't feel right when it's just still playing the stage theme. Nothing is worse than Spyro 3, I know, but, like, at least have a boss name of some sort. Spectre does, but it's I just his name. I wasn't even gonna say anything about Spyro 3. Mm. Crash 1 even had individual boss themes, which is kind of, like, ahead of its time. Even though Cortex, like, his boss theme is just his theme, like, in this game, like, at least it's still unique to him. I really Embryo like is just his bonus level theme, but it's still his song. I really like his, uh, Cortex's, uh, boss th song. I do, too. And, like, each game, like, had a good remix of it. I like that they tried to incorporate Back when it. he was, like, a not a silly character, just the game, like, this foreboding thing. Yeah. Dun, 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 mm -hmm. dun, dun, Like, dun. just simple and effective. Is the way that you're me. Because then two and three, where you're like, or, or two is the one where you're chasing through space, like it's more actiony. Three is just more of an actiony thing because you got the two masks fighting. I think it's, it's just stupid that it revolves around that. I think it's funny as fuck that um, Spiral one, oh, yeah. My weak point hit me here. Spiral one, uh, I wouldn't do. It. Um, Spyro 1 I'm actually had the Nasty Nork fight where you were uh, just chasing him, right? Yep. And then, um... Spyro 2 had a way more traditional final boss. Mm. Crash 1 had a traditional, like, boss where it was about, like, you know, puzzling it, jumping accordingly, looking, waiting, watching, feeling, fucking, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then the second game had a chase. Yep. And then the third games both had... Actually, Spyro 3's final boss sucks. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I had that there as backup. No way in hell. Yeah, I don't know if it's what... That's what it dropped on me originally when I was trying to aim at it. Now you just gotta sit through this. Worst part of Jet Force Gemini is all boss fights are like this. But it's even worse. Probably some of like the worst would like sit through ten hours of them attacking and you get literally a frame to hit them in one specific spot when the aiming sucks. It's a good game. Um, <laughs> well, but like yeah, unacceptable. Yeah. I think we can both just like tag team. But like unacceptable boss fights. Did you say you were getting an Xbox next? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna wait on the PS5. To get the Pro? I, I was thinking about it, like, I don't really need a Pro to play the games that I want, and, like, it's gonna be scalped in the beginning. Unless they, they'll know better. Because, like, the Slim, I don't think is scalped. Like, you can just pick up the Slim pretty, like, easily. I fucking Come hate on. you. Come um, on. So hopefully, like, they have it in good supply, because I'm... Who knows how long I have to wait after it comes out. It is pretty much confirmed now, because now they're saying, like, games are going to be labeled as enhanced if they're enhanced with the Pro. Like, like oh, it's going to have ray tracing and stuff. Like, doesn't it already have... Well, like, I guess not all games can run with, like, ray tracing, like, 4K60, and, like, this is finally going to do it, like, stably. I... So it's kind of like delivering everything that the original promised or something. I want the series. Just be aware that the list for what's backwards compatible is the thing. Not, yeah. And that you can't play every game because it's based on license. Well, if I can't play it, I'll just get it on PlayStation. It really comes down to that. Well, like Things like a lot of yeah. Games, uh, yeah. Well, like, the, the and big And apparently bummer. Fable 1 and 2. You can buy it online on the Xbox One, but you can't play your physical discs. That's stupid. It's the dumbest shit. Me and Sharky had to play it on the 360 because of that. Cause I, I want a cookie. I refuse to, to buy the game again. Yeah. It's like it's not worth spending more money on it. Um, this is taking forever. Biggest bummer is all the Guitar Hero and Rock bands. I don't think you can play on the Series X. No, because all the licensed music. Yeah, that makes sense. I thought is it was this, like the controller compatibility. Like, no. It could be the controller compatibility, too. So yeah, did they like die? They I don't think anyone was actually in there. Where'd they go? Where do you go when you die? <laughs> now it's the last level. Which is many levels put together. 
Neither did I. He does sound is like it, it. Is it Zim? Is it Richard? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't even need to look that up. I'm sorry. Wait, he didn't sound like an old game. Did he switch? I'm wondering. Actually, I will look that up. I swear to God. God, like, he's never been sworn at so much until we came into the picture. <laughs> Good Connor especially. I think that is like a catchphrase. Hang on a little. Yeah, listen. It's been him all along, right under our noses. I can't believe we fell for it. Oh, he's played by Phil Collins. Oh my god, that's why he is in the air tonight. <laughs> like, right? Yeah, I mean, every time he jumps, he's in the air tonight. <laughs> yeah, Kakeru is Richard Stephen Horvitz. Yeah. Spectre D. Bradley Baker. Phil Proctor is the professor. Joshua Seth is Hiroki or Jake. And Amber Hud is Natsumi Natalie. You ready to do the long level? Oh, fuck. Fuck me. I forgot. It takes up the whole screen. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Like, I, I like that. It, it really adds the scope of things. Oh. How's it going? Spiky. Been waiting for me, huh? I just had an interesting idea. How's about you and I play a little game? We haven't been this whole time. I can't believe it. Where did he build this? Now we actually do. 24. Do it. Oh, fuck me, right. Mini games. The fucking rail. The monorail thing. Yeah. I forgot what it was like to... There's a void out there. This is like Gold Saucer on acid. This song? Yeah. And it's really repetitive too! It is the Ape Escape version of Gold what? Saucer. I, I took the net off. Oh. Just for that boss fight. Like that, the water's coming out of his hand. Yeah. That's all uh. I like. Like he's God himself. I am God. I bet he parted the water because it was always separated to begin with. It's like Sonic EXE. Somebody sent me a thing on Discord. It was the fight between Sonic EXE and Fleetway Sonics. Uh, I have a song on my phone. I like oh yeah, I remember. Songs. This is a this is a what game song? Like a five song? Like that stumped me. I thought it was Spiral Four. Oh. Every time you put this on, you'll get me. I do something like horrible to you, like, I'll get you for this! Name this song! What, what game is this from you put this on? Gotcha! Set him straight! Alright, he knows the program. This looks like a place in, um... Oh, hey, a Spectre coin. Well hidden. Well hidden. Hidden in a well. Fuck me. Fuck me! <laughs> um... Then he did like a stream of like creepy Mario like games, but he didn't do it on Halloween. It was like a couple months ago. And like, right. they're so stupid. It's just like, oh, I found you, brother. Like, it's like Luigi running from Mario. That's like most of them. Yeah. There, there's this one where he kept playing because like it was hard and he wanted to beat the level. It's like you do World 1 1, it's like a minor key version of the song. And like, it was, it, they got around like copyright and they named Luigi Lucas. And he finally gets to the end, it's like, oh, Thanks for reaching me, Lucas. Like, I have, like, something to show you. Like, like I have a surprise for you or something. And then he grows, and he starts, like, screaming. He's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> and, like, chasing him. And, like, every, like, the further you get in the level, he grows larger. And he's, like, breaking through the blocks. Like, new yeah, yeah, Connor showed me a video of that. I was like... It was like, it made, it, Vinny was just cracking up the first time he saw it. But then he kept trying, like, I have to do it. And Vinny is, like, a... 
I can't give up. He's like, one more try, guys. One more try. And then, like, ten hours later, he's still so, doing it. So he's me. Kind of. Where it's you, aggravating where to you, watch. You'll like, literally tell me, like, listen, can we just, like, do this a different time? Like, can we just skip this? And I'll be like, yeah, and then I'll just do it again. Yeah. <clears throat> Even in, like, best of format, it's hard to, like, watch Vinny do that. Like, he just he keeps dying. There's one time he did, like, Mario Kart Wii hacks, and, like, someone made a Frogger level in Mario Kart Wii where you have to use the hop and, like, <laughs> hop with lily pads and stuff. And you have to get boosts, like, the, the items will only ever give you mushrooms, and you have to boost and jump off of, like, the platforms. So it's, like, virtually unplayable, but doable at the same time. And he kept saying, like, one more try. And, like, every time you get hit by the cars, it's, like, one of those, like, hits where it, like, respawns you back at a certain point. So every time you get hit by one of the cars, you have to go back to the other side of the road. So it was just so frustrating. But I think he finally did it. But you have to do, like, three laps of it. Like, every time you pass the, the finish line, it counts as you finishing a lap, but then it also despawns you and puts you back at the beginning. Why is he not coming out? He's just gone. But yeah, so many of those hacks are just, like, character chases you, finally get you, and then jump scare of, like, creepy face on the screen. This is what kids like. I don't get it. The worst kind of videos I've seen, like, recommended are, like, what happened when Mario find Peach in the bathtub and, like, it's, like, spray, like, stuff. And I was curious and clicked on it, and, like, because they live stream it. And it's literally just 30 minutes of, like, basically, like, early YouTube where it's just Mario running around, like, random sound effects and, like, things happening. Like, I'll go down this pipe and then there's, like, a, like... Bowser's, and, like, ten Bowser's are there, and he's chasing him, and then he goes down, like, this pipe, and then there's, like, Eggman or something. And just random shit is happening. It's, like, SMG4, kind of. I hate SMG4, yeah. man. Yeah. It's hard to believe that, the, like, the same people made Digital Circus. It glitched? Yeah. That was glitch. SMG4, like, became glitch or something like that. That's insane to think about. Because mm. that means they also made... Uh... This is the most annoying, dumbest shit I've ever done. Also wondering how big the PS5 Pro will be. Like, if the PS5 itself is that large, the Slim isn't that much smaller. It is smaller, but... Yeah. This is such an aggravating song. I liked it before. Then you play the game. Why is he not coming out? This is insanity. What makes him come out? I don't know. It's fucking annoying, though. This is a remix of like an earlier song in the game. No idea. Come out. <gasps> He's out. It's like a boo, you gotta turn your back on him. How in the fucking hell and Kellen are you supposed to do this shit? Can you get do it from the roof? I'm trying, but he doesn't come out. Fuck you. Fuck you. Did it just go through him? Yes. It's because it doesn't aim where it goes. Like, where the reticle is, it's, like, lower, I think. Or that. It's just not centered. The reticle's not centered. I can't say this. Even this remake is good. What in the fucking tits is happening? Realistic gaming. 
Yeah, you're gonna have to. But then he won't come out because you, oh. What the? Nice. Watch him jump all the way back in the window. Fuck off with that Only dumb Spectre shit. Only Spectre remains. Huh? Only Spectre remains. Fucking god damn. I think that's everyone in here. I thought I was gonna have to lose my breakfast to do that. Alright, set aside. Look. Now we're ready. Now we're good. We're to go. We're good. Now. Lunch can stay, but breakfast has gotta get out. Thank god we're not hearing that song anymore. Yeah. At least every area has a different song. Never mind, I fucking hate this song too. Yeah, Golden Saucer Acid Edition. It's like Golden Saucer recreated from memory and doubled the tempo. I thought there was a monkey out here. I like that phase. The coaster is continuing, right? I don't know if any of it continues. I remember, I, I like this song in here, the circus. Oh, this is the dumb shit where you see the professor. Yeah. So this might be progressing. It's really been him the whole time. <laughs> We're stupid. You want to grab us those cream sodas? After this cutscene. We can make him into Moxie. Just, hey, sir. Hey, sir. Sir, come here. Come here. I farted and it really stinks. Oh, what the fuck, Moxie. <laughs> it's weird, like, that's just his talking voice. Like, I've seen, like, some of the interviews with, like, the cast of Hell of Boss. Like, that is just his speaking voice. So maybe it doesn't put strain on him as much as we think. Like, if that's just how he talks. But a lot of his roles are just like the loud screaming. Like I think as Billy and Zim, he's just perpetually screaming. Come but, on. Like, Moxie has a range, and then he's just kind of talking as a uh, Spike. But like every Ratchet game or PlayStation Move Heroes, just, we just hear him screaming. Yeah, it's this is a faithful remake. You're going back in. Really. That just a pee. Oh, I was like, damn, you must not be feeling good. Well, that's it, game over. This sucks. This sucks! Bro, I've never had it this sucks this bad. Bro, this sucks. It kept my progress, though. That's good. There's, there's a god. Bro, it sucks so bad. It's like somebody like just wants to get Gold Saucer's theme over with. <laughs> Bro, you're so stuck on this Gold Saucer stuff. Gold Saucer, my Plaza Saucer, things to get stuck on. That's true. Fair enough. Favorite song. <laughs> That's just rude. Oh, I still have this. You never finished it? <laughs> I keep forgetting. Jesus.
what she sees. What? The <laughs> platform. Cream soda tastes different in a glass. <laughs> Fire Emblem Three Houses sex this platform. Like, it's how slow it's going. It's gonna take forever. It's how slow relationships build in that fucking game. Hmm. Yeah, they lock you out. It's like you have to wait. It takes some time for this bond to deepen. You yeah. have to wait for the time skip for the next support conversation. I'll say one game I'm surprised broke out 100% in was Zeno Break Lounge. Chronicle. <laughs> Zeno Blade Chronicles. There's, mm. I think, one quest we didn't do, and that's it. Granted, I think it's our longest series. Bro, I want to play Xenoblade X with you. Hmm. It'll take a while, but it's fun. I'm surprised I never came to Switch. You'd it's have probably, to get a Wii it's U. It's probably going to come to the Switch successor. Hmm. It's like they want to get everything off the Wii U and like onto the Switch. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm trying to think of like what they didn't port. Like, Smash Wii U, but, like, Ultimate. I hate this. Mm. You just jumped, right? <laughs> Horrible, like, reflex time. Like, not you, but just the game. Like, like, this is what they... Exp I know they have a Spectre Coin hidden in here, too. Mm. Bro, if the camera was just up a little bit. Yeah. Oh. Probably a second. Oh, shirt. Sure. Probably a second Spectre Coin. Yeah. That wasn't so bad. No, it was like, yeah, it was more. It's not done. Yeah. Could they really not make the render distance better for this section? This is something Dominion 64 does better. Every I think every level has a minecart section where you gotta like dodge. Knew it! Fuck me. And it's like clutch where you gotta hit the switch to like change the track like in clutch time. Should I just die? Yeah. Oh, it's too late. This is probably gonna transition me. Fuck, screen transition. Fuck. You gotta do all the sections again. And it'll probably spit you out somewhere completely different. Yep. You just jump back on. Fuck this game. So there's one Spectre coin I missed that I have to go back and get. Yeah, we're in a brand new area. Where is this? He could slip between those. That sounds like parts. listen. It's a, he doesn't sound the same anymore. She doesn't sound the same either. Did they just use the original audio? I think you're right. I think you're right. They forgot to dub the scene. And the back Hank came in and he... You know what's up? Oh, I lost it. I was about to say, instead of keep going, hey, hey, come on, guys. Like, I think we should just actually try to tap into Tom Hanks. Just start quoting, like, his villain. So I think I've been onto something. Like uh. sometimes it is just him. Like it's the original. It it. I wish it was like a Mikey Kelly thing. Like every now and then when you jump, you'd be like, "Hiya!" Yeah, because he's got such a, sp a specific voice. Gasly. 
This is gonna fall. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, oh okay. That literally cleaved him. Cleaved Hidge. I don't see them. Like they're invisible. I mean I guess they're ghosts, that's kinda like their thing. They're specters. Are you working with Spectre? <laughs> Cause you better not be. Hmm. I think I can pick apart your porridge with Padley Package Horse sh shit. I wasn't expecting that. What a weird enemy design. It treated that cookie like a solid object for half a second. Mm. What is this, Lee? I feel like I'm missing shit. There hasn't been a monkey in a while. <laughs> oh my god, he is here! Ask and he shall appear. Sansa. Where am I? Oh, that's where I was supposed to go. I think they fall, yeah. Oh. That was kind of nice. Oh, are they gonna fall? All right, original audio. Oh. After the stream, I'll do a cutscene comparison, like that scene, both games, and then see if it's the same exact audio. What if you caught all three of them, like, in one swipe? Didn't we do that before? Maybe. I don't really remember this section, because this was, like, during COVID, so you had to do it all on the stream. Yeah, it sucks. Yep. At least I got the other long level. And the TV tower took a while. Ah, fuck! That would have gotten him, too. These fucking fire fucks are fucking fucking me up. So they dropped cookies. Oh my... They, they dropped these. Smookies. Bro, I'm losing it. I am crying. You might remember me from Disney Channel. Du, 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 du. Bigger crosses on the caskets. This is not a Nintendo game. Huh? This crosses on the caskets. Bro, this is worse than to double double toilet trouble in. This is a rigged system, and we need to change it today. <laughs> Bro, it's it's like it's like nobody's loved me before. <laughs> Ooh, an extra life. Maybe it's worth grinding down here. Six? Fucking Christ on a bicycle, man. Oh my god, I hope he has an open casket funeral. <laughs> Why did that? Oh, to free here. Alright, uh, original audio. That's that. It's the new one now. She's way taller than him. Oh, 
Uh, she just... She spoke and no said nothing. Yeah. However, during the late game cutscene in the Spectre land stage, an entire scene uses the original 1999 dub. Seriously, check it out. It's so weird. How does that happen? <laughs> what game did that where like everything like set every time you walked in? I don't remember. I think it was like Spyro, like either Rig or the original. Like everything would set like every time you walked in the room. That's so weird. <laughs> I'm surprised you caught oh, that. Um rehydrated. All the buttons that you press like in an area every time you go into an area will all then be triggered at once and makes really loud sounds people seem to think it's it was a big oops they just forgot to dub one of the scenes and they didn't have time i to bet do they're it. placeholders like they put all the originals in as placeholders and then use those as reference i'm shocked you noticed because in my head I, I was like oh i only noticed we because... just we just noticed it so we must we just noticed it was Richard Horvitz playing him, so I was listening more, and I'm like, that's not him. Like, this whole time we didn't realize. Because didn't you say, oh, it's Ty, originally? Um, no, Ty is... As Jake. <laughs> Ty is Jake. But, yeah, I was listening, and I'm like, wait, that's not him. Actually, the dub I have, it's not the Pokemon people, is it? Or, is it the... You sneeze, I fart. Who, who else? Is <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ladies, the thunder in the background. Ladies, come get us. <laughs> we, we're waiting. We're we're pretty resistible. <laughs> Do I just go in here? Just hit me. I don't know what to. Oh, where do? What do I? What do I do? No, like, what do I mm. do? Yeah, that cutscene was like the okay, like from Star Before, or whoever it is doing that, just like placed in for other characters. It happens all the time in Star Before. Star Before is very terrible. Fuck off with your dumb shit. Star Before is just a badly made game. Mm -hmm. Imagine, like, every time, like, someone had the Wilhelm scream, like, the guy that did the original scream is credited as a voice actor. So, like, Buzz Lightyear was voiced by Wilhelm at one point. Have you seen the Black Friday, whatever, script thing for Toy Story? Oh. Just out there. It's no. probably a different track. No, I did not see the Black Friday script for Toy Story. It's been around for a long time, but, like, it was essentially, while the film was still in development, on Black Friday they, like... Did like a screening of like the just the storyboard with the voice acting placed on it and people hated it because of how badly it was written this is back when jeffrey katzenberg worked at pixar he's responsible for like dreamworks like he didn't make dreamworks but he's like the the problem of dreamworks like just how pop culture it is and like try to put adult jokes into kids movies he brought that he used to work at disney yeah, I don't think it was Pixar. I worked at Disney. So he worked on, like, Lion King. I think he's the he's the problem with Disney where, like, he brought celebrities into everything. And I thought he worked on Hercules because that is such a DreamWorks-y movie with just the, the stupid pop culture in it, but he didn't. He actually, I think, was fired from Disney because of, like, how annoying he was to work for. But he did, like, yeah, Lion King and, like, Aladdin and stuff like that. And he was working on Toy Story, and I think he got, like, kicked off the project. Because he wanted to make it more of an adult film. And he wanted Woody to just be such a... Do you remember a... where it is? Second section. And I think he had to jump for it. Is this the second section? At least if you miss it, you can just take one more hit. Uh, Fuck! Just, yeah, it'll take one more hit. I don't think they'll give you one for the rest of this, though. There we go. 
Um, but yeah, they call it the Black Friday script, I think. But they still have it, and it's been it's aired as like I think DVD specials for Toy Story. But it's essentially the scene of Woody pushing Buzz out the window, but like how it was originally written. Like Woody was supposed to just be this complete douchebag of a character. Like right. in the original, he's more just like he's the leader, but he kind of lets it go to his head sometimes, and like he's just more jealous of Buzz. But like in this script, he's like a totalitarian leader. So, like, he intentionally pushes, pushes Buzz out the window, like, he goes over to, like, shake his hand or whatever, and then I think he just shoves him out the window. Everyone sees it, and he tries, like, I didn't push him out the window, he just fell out, and, like, and Tom Hanks is voicing him in it. It's, like, a three-minute thing I can put it on, but, like... I don't know if I would do it on the stream. Not on the stream, but, like, it's basically all the toys, like, accusing him of it, and he's, like no I didn't do it and then they start revolting and he's like you seriously gonna talk to me like that you're gonna revolt against me and like he's like Slinky round him up and then he's like well like what are you like and he's like Slinky you do what I say right now like just starts just snapping at everybody and then they all have to like basically gang up on him and just everybody hated it like why would any kid want to deal with a main character like this so Woody was kind of like rewritten makes sense mm -hmm. You can't have, like, a kid's, like, it's like Yik, like, him defending Yik, like, but if it was for a kid's movie. Having characters that are just hateable isn't, like, it, I guess it's a little more realistic, but it's not, like, you don't just make them completely hateable. Everyone's you gotta bad. give, like, a good and a bad side to characters. <laughs> Yik's just fucking horrible. They just released a new thing for Yik like really? two days ago. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it's like I don't know, man. It's it's something. It's kind of like how they changed Spyro. Like, no, oh, he was he was too mean for the kids, and Gary Oak was too mean too. I can't believe you told me he'd smell me later. Like he <laughs> knew I wasn't gonna shower before we met again. I mean, you're playing Pokemon. You don't have time to shower. <laughs> you're just sitting there battling the eight hundred coppings. Who all who smell? <laughs> Eight hundred coffins. <laughs> That's a lot. Thanks a lot. I hate the biker biker bike road, but what's it called in Pokemon? Like every region has the bike road. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Why do you hate it? Because there's just a hundred trainers, and they all have coffins and Grimers and Mucks and Weezings, and that's it. Because those are the only I think those are the only poison Pokemon in the region. Like pure poison, like not bug or ghost. Because they're bikers and they have the pollution coming out of the motorcycles, they all just have those Are sets you, of Pokemon. Does it always reset the life and I was just being an idiot? Maybe. Um, like, it, the frustrating thing about Pokemon is just when you're battling the same ones over and over. So, in theory, adding new ones is a good idea because, like, that way you just have more of a mix, but no, they limit the region to cer only a certain number of Pokemon. I think what it should have been is you can battle Pokemon from any region in each game. But as for the ones you can catch... What the fuck? I keep getting stuck on fucking nothing! Sorry. But as for the ones you can catch, it should only be limited to, like, certain ones in the region. But, like, just... So you're not just sitting there battling the same ones over and over, like... Gym leaders, they often will have, like, three of the same Pokemon. I'm just waiting for that one guy that just happens to have a Darkrai. <laughs> I think Pokemon should... Imagine the Elite Four, like, they just hit you with legendaries. Like, they all just have them. That'd be intense. I think, um... They... This this whole idea of a National Dex just needs to be dropped. Yeah. There's over a thousand There's no Pokemon. excuse. No excuse? Like, no excuse for limiting it. There is... It's a bad one. Like, the Switch can't handle it. Having having to model over a thousand Pokemon every single game and have the number go up every single game is insane. But, like, they don't have to do it all from scratch. They can just copy them over. It's like not, they've been doing. I mean, and look at how bad it's been coming out. Yeah. But, like, make them good and leave, like, the Stadium. Like, Coliseum reused Stadium as models, but they were all, like, they were polygonal, but they, were, they had good animation because Nintendo originally made them. I hate this fucking game more than I've hated anything yeah. in my entire fucking life. <laughs> it's not true. It's just this section sucks. 
But like Coliseum and Stadium had better animations than. Bro, Charlotte you can't even see your own fucking fate fling before your fucking eyes. They put that life here because they knew they fucked up, and instead of actually fixing the section, this is just what they did. You can't see your shadow. So it just you fucking. So they should take the crash bars and just put a giant target under you. Bro, I I appreciate that fucking target. I say yeah. thank you every day. <laughs> It's my favorite store in the mall. Not because it's the only store in the mall, but just because it reminds me of Crash 4. Thank you. Wait, what store? Target. Oh. Every time I'm at... Yikes! Alright. Raising... Raising Cane's is still packed. Raising Cane's is so mid. Yeah. It's um, like... It, like, has made me want to go to Chick-fil-A. I don't even like Chick-fil-A. I think Chick-fil-A is actually worse than Raising Cane's. <laughs> Popeyes is alright. I fucking uh, we don't, don't like any of the chicken places. Popeyes is probably the one I'd go to because their chicken sandwich. That's it. Looks like I popped in at the right time to carry on, Tristan. You got this. <laughs> Welcome back. Um, this is dumb shit, dude. I can't fucking feel anymore. <laughs> um. What was I saying? I don't know uh, where we're even just Popeyes. Talking. Yeah. I don't, I don't like fast food. I mm -hmm. decided that. I just, it doesn't make me feel good. Mm -hmm. I feel like shit. <laughs> it's the same thing. I think if it doesn't make you feel like shit, you're just used to it, and that's a bad thing. Yeah. I've been trying to cut down on it. That's why I've been cooking a lot more. Yeah. I don't know if I've been saving money, honestly. I don't know in the long run I feel like it, because, like, you get full more from cooking at home. Well, not ordering food at work is probably helping. Yeah. I had McDonald's the other day because Anthony offered to buy, and I was like, oh, why not? Right? And I felt like shit all day after it, dude. Hmm. Yeah, I don't feel like shit after eating Red Robin. It's weird. Well, I mean, that's not fast food. That's a pencil. It's a long candy cane pencil. I don't really consider like eating yeah, at restaurants fast food. is different. Yeah. Fast food is, but it's still like not good for you compared to cooking yourself. Yes, I mean to an extent. If you go to a pasta place, you're not gonna like leave feeling like dookie. You know what I mean? Yeah. If I were a douchebag, where would I hide this coin? There's fucking ten of them, right? There's there's no way there's not gonna be one in this room. Hey, thanks for talking to us mid gameplay. <laughs> thanks for talking to us mid boss. <laughs> Thank you for releasing me. What do I do? Yeah. Like, these don't feel like real boss fights. Greatest I, game on the PlayStation. I wasn't expecting that. Like, no sound effect. Like, we got in, but how are we gonna get out? Alright, is this gonna be dubbed properly? I think it's only that one scene. Fuck! Oh, what? Uh, this is shovelware. What is happening? Do I hit him while he's... Oh. Catching the player off guard by not having good game design is not a good way to catch the player off guard. That's annoying. Alright. You missed it, Richard. There was a single cutscene in this game. He has like a weird mustache. Like there was a weird layer to the right of his mustache. You can't see it because his head turned. The other, like it's coming off a little bit. Like it. That might be just the, the emulator fucking up. Yeah. It's like the invisibility effect, like cloaking device. Um, but yeah, you missed it, Richard. Earlier in the game, there was. Um, a cutscene that for some reason played the audio from the PS1 version, so the voice actors and everyone were the PS1 voice actors. Just as we found out, uh, Richard voices uh, Spike. <laughs> yeah, Richard Horvitz, like, 
I was listening, I'm like, wait, that's just the original voice, like, for the next cutscene. Like, what a great moment for us to realize the voices. Hmm. <laughs> Did we let him out and then close the door and lock it behind us like good-mannered citizens? There's gotta be a coin in here, right? No, I don't give a fuck. I'll look it up later. So he made a really shitty game. Who wants to talk to his little buddy? I'll have a butcher's. It's the same when we find like Natalie in the cage if you just want to like go back in the stream a little. Or if you're just gonna go look at the original like cutscenes. Oh Richard, I was also saying this song sounds like bootleg gold saucer. Like someone's just trying to recreate it from memory but rush through it. <laughs> so, I can't remember the gold saucer song. And then your video and entire channel have been taken down by Square Enix. <laughs> I would I was just playing, at least playing a good song. Um, I would dare not play a single Final Fantasy song on stream. Why? We played Final Fantasy games with their music on stream. And every single stream of Seven had content ID claim. I'd rather have an ID claim than a strike. But like, I feel like just playing the song itself might not be a good idea. Well, even if it's for my phone. These two, together. So you had to actually fight him. Did he use your RC car with the reverse control? I don't remember how to do this. So we gotta finish drink two. I say drink two because I wrote my copy and that was drink one. Do, do, do this till he gets bored and has to pee. What do I do? Oh fuck. What do I do though? Did you use your RC car? For what? I don't know. Well, he's sending his own RCs out. What? Because you gotta hit him in the front. Also, why is it showing the beginning of like a racetrack? What the fuck do you do? What do I have? Do I just go? Yeah. Oh, get your hula hoop out. Why? If it's a race, then we can go faster. And then hit him? I think Venue hit him when he's stunned like that. I thought you were going to have to race him. Get back there in time. Maybe the field? Hmm. I don't know, Jeff Force Gemini bosses are looking pretty good. He's he didn't do it. I was mashing the fucking button and he wasn't running. This game is fucking bullshit. Faithful remake. Move. What the fuck? Oh. 
I think they did redo the music, like, slightly. It's hard to, like, find the original, like... They do sell it, and but like it's a remix album, like Fucking by the remix. original composer called like Ape Escape Originate Soundtracks. But he redid all the music, and almost all of it sounds worse. Like it's close, it's just weird instruments. I just want to point out that that's not go-karts. Yeah. None of those really reached you. Fuck off and lose a limb. I've never been this sexually aroused since I was three. My internet cut out. Last thing I heard was it sounds like Gold Saucer, and it did. So you heard the Gold Saucer? It was like, it sounds like someone trying to recreate the song from memory, but like speeding through it, so just like doing the same part over and over. I can guarantee they based it off of Gold Saucer, just because like Seven was so big, and like it was brand new at the time. This is 1999 originally, so like. I'm sure they had it on the mind. It's like a kid operating a burning vehicle that exploded to revert him back to normal. His spleen's gone. <laughs> they took my kidneys. You only need one. Go to hell. <laughs> it's been my plan, couldn't you tell? That's Steve Bradley Baker. D. Bradley Baker has to be in Fire Emblem Heroes. No. He's like really? a cartoon voice actor and they only hire anime people. I hate like every year how they have to have lolly kid banners. Like they just have an Awakening Kid banner. So it's like Robin and Crom like teaming up. Like they meet each other for the first time at the start of Awakening as adults. So I realize it's not them when they were kids, it's the games taking place, but if they were kids, like a what-if scenario. They, but they all talk about, oh, when I grow up, we're gonna do this and that, and like, all like ironic stuff to the games, but like, both Robins are there. It's like, how are you also Robin with the same upbringing as me? Not mentioning that they're, you know, Grima or anything, but like, And, like, it doesn't make any sense with the game that's all about, like, time travel. Technically, if Robin's, like, from the future, Robin could be a kid when Crom is an adult, but... No, it's just here they all are as kids. And Kyle Bear still plays Frederick as a kid and just does a slightly higher-pitched voice, so he still sounds like a grown man. Bro, or you, Matt Mercer as well playing Crown. Just yeah, I'm a kid. Did you see that thing with the Funimation panel? Well, with Chris Abbott and Sean Shamal, and the guy said, "How did it feel to to backstab Vic Vignana?" Was this a while ago? Yeah, I think. 
thing. And they were like, ooh, you could leave. Yeah. This isn't something we like to talk about because, well, we did it. <laughs> Ayo! I wish they were just villains about it. He's gone, baby! <laughs> There's like chicken beers. Like, yeah. Backstab, no, we freaking skewered him and put him on the grill. <laughs> Believe what you want, but no matter what, he's gone. <laughs> we got future projects, but he's got none. He had to come all the way to Albuquerque. Just to do some autographs. It was so fun and honey. No. There, there's Midgar below. Kind of does look like Midgar. <laughs> from this is the plate that rose instead of falling. Flint from Mother 3 looks like Final Fantasy. Hmm. Yeah, what's actually back here? Gold Saucer? Yep. Yeah, Philip. Yeah, there you go. Philip on health. Oh, smart. Look at you using your brain for once. I just don't know if the game would be generous enough to give any to you before the final boss. I didn't think. I didn't honestly think the whole thing went with us because in the cutscene it wasn't there. Like, the footstep sound. It's just one footstep. It was not a game design 101, like, you have to have more, like, a lot of, like, millions of footstep sounds. Like, the NES usually had two, if they ever had some. Like, I... do, 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 And this is just one footstep, no matter what surface you're on. I don't remember this. Dark Cloud, like, different surfaces will at least have different, like, sound effects. I really don't remember what this is. You fight Spectre. This isn't where you fight Spectre. I think it is. No, because there's still a shit ton of monkeys that are supposed to be here. I think they'll re like they'll spawn in after the game's beaten. Oh, there's one. Oh, he's gone. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just. That's it. It's just that It one. looks like a Sly Cooper background. Like the clouds. I miss Sly, man. Mm -hmm. Why would you slide down rocks like that unless they were wet? What are my totals like? Yeah, look at that. Mm. Did all the areas open to you? Like from the hub? Yeah. I guess there is more. Whoa. What was the point of that canyon? For that one monkey, I guess. <laughs> like I swear that's where the final boss took place. Wow, well did, hidden. Did they give up? Sometimes it feels like it. I'm really curious how much what we say in the original streams is, is the same. <laughs> I gotta do that, like, do comparison, like, best ofs. Yeah. Well, I mean, even us watching best ofs, it was yeah, we like... We see the same things. Yeah. Connor, during the DBZ best of, like, his laugh was in sync with best of <laughs> Connor. Is that right, Kevin? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I'll have to do that with Level 11 on Remake, just like compare everything we say. Well, we had one extra person, so it's gonna be different. Mm. But even then, like when I'm getting stuck, just like saying the same things. It's usually when it is. Oh, is this where. Are these buttons? Those look like the UFO things. That's the thing, though. It would be really hard to go back and, like, compare everything we say. Like, if it's not best of material, like, me just men us mentioning, hey, are these buttons, like, I'm not going to put that in the original, but we already passed it. Like, it didn't go in the best of. It looks but, like, like if we said the same thing, how are you supposed to really compare? 
like you know to remember everything we said from the original by like rewatching it. That's something like oh. you know the viewers can handle for us if they want to go make compilations. Uh. I don't know what that did. This is definitely Mega Man. Like, we are not in Spectre Land anymore, but it's still all within the same level. And the, now the drum and bass is kicked in. Yeah, this is a good one. What do I do? And I was treating this monkey like a final boss. Spectre's brother. Hector. Oh. You say Hector? Yeah. Get the fuck out. Did the fan hit you? Yeah. Tee! <laughs> 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 oh, but see. <laughs> what is the continuity of this moment? I got hit once, you <laughs> always get hit. There's a fucking difference. You always got hit once. Is that just to get that one fucking monkey? They tend to make an entire, like, area just for one monkey. Who would design a room like this? Spectre. <laughs> Spectre Knight. I definitely don't respect her. Spectre? I hardly even respect her. No her. Expect her. I wouldn't even blow her. No her. Expect her. How could she be expecting if she didn't even get blown? <laughs> what? <laughs> How could she... I think that's it. There's nothing else in here. Can you go up to the right there, like in Donkey Kong Land? No. Um, yeah, they tend to make just entire rooms with dead ends for nothing. This caution right here. Can I break this? No. Going to first person, like look around. It it really looks like that's it. There's nothing above. Oh, this is stupid leaf. Why does this one room have its own song? I really, the camera it's... loves going in the wall. It was like that in Clive and Wrench, but when it did it in Clive and Wrench, it actively de-rendered everything in the foreground. <laughs> It should have been like on the front cover. Oh, now it's playing the song. And now there's a monkey here. I don't think it locks on. You just fire and it will go. Like you don't have to wait for like a target to appear. Oh, I guess you do. How long do you have to wait? Ten years? By that point, he shot you dead and your whole family. Oh yeah, it's the crashing animation. As soon as it hits the ground, it's gonna explode. Called it. Do you have a straight jacket on? No, I mean... I mean, I guess it was pretty straight. Fuck! their health <laughs> um. leave and come back oh way over there how how do they want me to do this is the question Again. Oh, one more hit. There you go. Like that's such a horrible animation for crashing. Mm. 
missing three specter coins and a bunch of fucking apes. Monkeys, my bad. Monkey escape. God. <laughs> More levels. This game, like, deserves to be, like, like, oh, there's more. Oh, fuck. We can't complete it. <laughs> like, this should have been a separate level. What am I supposed to do? Like, World 9-2, Spectre's Factory. What am I supposed to do here? Drive the RC in. How? There's a lever, but I don't think you can hit it. Jesus, goddamn fucking Christ. I can't even see. Can you go into the RC's perspective? That'd be cool. Uh, oh. Oh! Accidentally figuring it out. I accidentally <laughs> yeah. shit myself. Whoops. I accidentally shit myself. They clipped on. Yeah. Cling on. Oh, there you go. Do you still have an inverted yes. venture challenge? Yes. <laughs> For Connor mode. <laughs> Man, I'm sweating. <laughs> I mean, I guess if you want to share that, if you can, but. Gross. I'm so itchy in my nose region. <laughs> my dad lost a million bucks. I don't think there's anything up. back there. This game's a douchebag, you forget. Yeah, yeah. This game's a bag of douche. Look out of space. Oh, yeah, look out of space. Even though we're not in space. Too quick. Why do they need windows Fuck. when you can just put the camera on the wall? Why do you need windows when you get mad? I can't keep going. Why? Where can't you go? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> you could... <laughs> you could go wherever you want. <laughs> what? <laughs> How? I hate every video game to walk the face of this fucking sick son of a bitch earth. <laughs> He's sweating. Well, that's where the eagle folds are made. Oh my god, that's where the fat folds are made. <laughs> Connor and Borium. Connor and Borium. Fat fold and Dorium. Gold Auditorium. Gold Auditorium. <laughs> Ow. The OTP. <laughs> OTP. Gold Auditorium. Together at last. Oh, he's, he's getting an alien army ready. For the sequel. Come for my Kura. Kula means butt. Mm -hmm. They're coming for my ass. Sonic Kulos. Sonic Kulos. <laughs> Sonic Super Kulo. <laughs> Way past Kulo. <laughs> Way past Kulo. <laughs> <laughs> ah yes Prime <laughs> Sonic Prime Sonic Prime The fake voice actor of Sonic Prime Comment <laughs> 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 Ow Ow Get the high score. <laughs> Fucking annoying piece of goddamn family package. One Dorito sitting in a tree. One Dorito sitting in a tree. K I S S I N G ing another Dorito who's also sitting in another tree who's also K I S S I N G ing another Dorito who's sitting in a tree. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> 
where you looking at the one that's going into the yeah, wall well, or the no. corner like it's a ball it's a ball but, but we folded it like paper and I was <laughs> death metal <laughs> that metal is the worst metal I've ever seen it's like Bugs Bunny be like we're all just 2D animation see I'm just gonna take this ball and I'm gonna fold it in half I'm gonna look like a fat ass while doing so <laughs> he did so that's like another thing, like everyone just loves the face, but just like the joke itself is hilarious. What's like that? him imitating Elmer Fudd. Big Chungus. I'm I'm confused as to where to go. Mm. Hi. Jadoria? Why did that just open now? Did it open before? Yeah. Oh my god! I heard a monkey in there. Yeah, it's in there. Do they all have monkeys? Yes, they store a monkey. Yeah, I'm gonna brainwash monkeys and make my own. I'm just gonna trap them in, like, hmm. things that only a boxing glove can break. Knowing that they're going to get killed as soon as they get freed. Freeze them. Where the fuck do I go? This must be another dead end area. I like, don't remember it. I mean, yeah, I wasn't here for any of it, but... None of those doors open. This is the central room, right? Like, they had to... Yeah. Get... Hmm. I don't know, man. I guess check back in here. <coughs> Now a door opens. I don't... I don't understand. Hey, you break... No, I'll just send you on this phase. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That's a door that should open, though. Is there a button or something somewhere? Can you only get to that from another room? This that looks like a place you can go to, but like... This is the kind of game that makes you switch religions. Because <laughs> there can't be a god. Yeah, atheism. Tastyism. <laughs> That's like most Americans' religion, tastyism. Yeah. If it tastes good, we'll shove it in our fat fucking gullet until we don't move anymore. It's my way. Do I need to, like, leave and have her be like, Here's a hammer! Here you go! I've never felt so stupid. Should we consult the stream again? What happened to you? What? Oh. <laughs> you used to be so good. Was there anything up here before? No, there's nothing! Like, what do people see in this game? Like, it's not just, oh, I remember Ape Escape, what the it was fuck so good, do I like, do? what about it? I don't see it on the PlayStation Classic. <laughs> the one that, like, doesn't have the analog. <laughs> Fuck. You know they put Metal Gear Solid on that? Like, it, it, it plays better with the analog. You can play without it, but, like, then the whole Sega Man is like, hey, put your controller on the floor. just doesn't work, because I don't think it has rumble. Uh, like, what do I do? Unless, like, that scene only plays if it detects you have a dual shock. I wonder. Yeah, let's try that. All the enemies are big. I don't know what to do. I'll consult the stream. Richard said, you've never been felt so stupid? That's a very low bar. Fuck you. That's all I gotta say to you. <laughs> Bro, 
wrong. The first stream name, the only good 3D game. The next one's the only game. <laughs> <laughs> and then part three, escape naming conventions. That was the last time we named a stream. Wait, was it? Yeah. That's so funny. I'm going straight to the finale. How do we... How do you... No, wait, the finale is when we got everything. Yeah. Part it's, six? It's like a couple parts before the finale. Did I just get right to the same part by just scrolling in? I did. I am so good. Um, <laughs> but it looks like shit. So go back up to that left area, like in the main room, because a door opened, like I saw. I don't know if you have to activate it, but like it's just along the wall, like a door open. Yeah, up here. Really? Yeah, for these guys it worked. It's not us. Yeah. Yeah, that's a door. That blends right in. Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah, why didn't the big orange door that looks completely different not open? And then the door that blends in with the wall just automatically open. Oh, that's why. That's so stupid. We came all the way in here just to open that. Or is there something else? Oh, RC. The Atlantic Ocean, RC. Ready to time their location. I can't change the camera with that thing on. I think the RC is even worse designed than the PSP because you have to run and use that with the left hand. Because on the D pad. Terrifying. Where'd the hula go? Where Hollow Knight went. You know, we might actually get news for Silk Song. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna happen. That just open. Why is that double button door on the other side? Why can't all doors be equal? Fuck's sake. I hope the rest of the apes are just in here and like <laughs> catch us. You can't find us. Cute. This wasn't really something game cute. You have to get hit by them. I don't know. That's why they drop so much health. Fucking seriously, it's fucking annoying. And they drop so much hell. My fucking taints never hurt so bad. And your taint. Get that camera down here. Turn your camera over here. Oh, I remember those. <laughs> The hot woman, uh, lover. I wasn't expecting that to bounce. It really is the hot woman meter. The hot woman meter? Yeah, because his eyes came shooting out like that. I hate this. I'm not even the one playing. What? 
What? <laughs> I have my nut out. Why didn't I, I have my nuts out? I have my nuts are clenched with the kegels I have. <laughs> What does this do? It kills four Stelphos. <laughs> and free the balloonists. I didn't find that back Stelphos. What about the nasty Gnorkies? Can I just crawl under? Double the amount of gold sculptures you have and then pass on the next link. What about that nasty motherfucker? I want to go fuck him up. You know how hard this is. Yeah. Uh, do I need to? <laughs> I wish the whole thing was reversed. Cause having down. Yeah, it's like really bad flight controls. Fuck off. Works every time. Fuck off with your ass. You only have one specter to go. <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> yep. <Yeah>. It beats. <laughs> uh, so, what the hell in. How in the hell in do you get in Kellen? It's a pretty place. Oh, that's so pretty. It's Let me such in. a safe place. It's so pretty. You're so stupid. But got the unfair. Oh, yes, the girl. What does that mean? That's <laughs> 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 like uh, I get it. Right? I get why it's like that, but it's still fucking hilarious. How do you get in the grassroots? It's like a joke, like, what if he got out of bounds, like, with a cartoon character like that? And, like, you like you just see the eyes, like, they're... Why are your eyeballs, like, <coughs> long cones that are going way into the back of your head? Oh, it's just for when the hot girl walks by. Like, they're ready. They're always in the back of the head, ready. Like it's like the stupid Family Guy thing where Stewie and Brian, like, they go back in time to the first episode and, like, the Kool-Aid man's waiting outside the courtroom, like, smoking a cigarette, like, waiting for them to say, oh, no. But because they're distracting him, he misses his cue, and they're all, like, staring at the wall waiting for him, and he doesn't. And then he comes out, like, late, and he trips over himself and shatters. The end. Uh -huh. It was, like, the idea of him waiting for the joke to, like, happen. That's so funny. That's hilarious. It man. still like hurts like at work, like on Fox just seeing like new episodes of Family Guy and Simpsons come on and I don't even hear it. I just look over and just what? it's always like stupid. It's more like just the animation, like you just see this like their their skin is like too vibrant of a yellow now, like because it's that high quality looking, but like the animation itself is so like computerized. For them to call it animation domination is so bold because of how limited the animation actually is. Might as well be called Laminate and Animate. <laughs> I had help. I had help. <laughs> At least they put the shirts there. They know the section sucks. Instead of fixing it, they just put the shirts there and put them in crystals. The only funny time it was like good like that was Elite Beat Agents and like I think the original all went down where there's a glitch with like the tutorial where if you accidentally like close the DS and reopen it, it gets out of sync. So instead of, like, fixing it, they just made it so every time you close it, they're like, how dare you, like, uh, sleep on the job while, like, you're in your training, and they make you start it over.
Or did you know that Space Invaders, like, the whole difficulty curve was based on, like, a programming oversight? How? Um, the idea where every alien that you kill, the game speeds up, because, like, it's still, like, inputting, the, like, having less sprites on screen speeds the game up, and it was unintentional, and while working on it, they're like, this is a great idea. So it makes it harder the more you kill. Like, it even speeds your shot up and everything, so kind of, like, as you're getting closer to completing, like, each level, you have to, like, think differently about your timing. Still not as scary as the Banjo Kazooie in the in the in the cave level. Uh, the glue 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 hmm? spook swamp whatever it's called. What? The, the, the swamp. Crocodile? Yeah. Where you gotta like catch the thing. Where you have to like walk over the ledge in a certain time. Fuck. Wait, what are you talking? I don't remember. I, th I thought you were talking about the alligator mini game where you gotta eat the berry like the things and it keeps switching on you. The what? We gotta be Mr. Vile at like eating the grumbly thing. That that sucks. Yeah. But what are you talking about? Talking about where you have that little time challenge where you step on the thing and it's like get here before time runs out and there's that little really thin platforming challenge. I don't remember. You're not a real fan. It's as simple as that. <laughs> You're one of those people that doesn't care if it comes back. Fake fan. Dude, I don't want to deal with this shit. This guy's so annoying. Fucked my wife and stole my kids. Shoot me out of the air and knock me all the way down, I dare you. Or just take it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Come on. He came in out of nowhere like Lucas. <laughs> like all the people who kicked Chuck Norris in his cowboy ass. In his bloody battle that the world ever saw with civilians looking at total law. Wow, what a total law. I had to unlike Curb's cover of it. He did a cover when of Smash it. Ultimate, I was like, this is the ultimate Smash Bros. Just when you get the lyrics, uh, uh, Konami, Sega, and Cap, or. I forget exactly if it was like Konami and Square Enix. Oh, so he really hit 2006 YouTube, huh? Mm -hmm. Kinda helped, but I'm fucked. He revisits his old material too much. Like, he remade Tome twice. Did a sequel to his Forest Maze thing. He didn't even make the song, he just made the animation. Four years later, he did like the remix of it. And then he does, like, the reanimated of the original and does a cover of the original. Fuck! How are you supposed to do this? This is insane. And I think he keeps doing TTA, like, April Fool's things. Like, oh, the next episode. Like, I'm pretty sure he did another one for this year. Broke out theater. It's probably some 10 minute thing of just nothing. Is it? Yeah, Duel the Dragon 20th Anniversary Edition. Yeah, it's a new thing. Let's see what the joke is. Oh, it's actually like an animation. Like the whole thing. Fucking Christ almighty! I'm gonna rip my fucking eye sockets out! This is so fucking annoying! This guy's the fucking worst enemy I've ever seen in a single video game in my life.
So apparently it's a legit remake of an episode of TTA, and he does it in, like, the original style. And he brings voice actors from all three iterations of Tome together. So, like, he just split the roles up. Should have gotten all the original cast back. Well, he did, I think one, he, like, burned bridges with a lot of them. Um, and then maybe others just aren't available. So I kind of want to watch it. Should we do Broke Out Theater, like, follow up the original Broke Out Theater? When we have to watch the other thing. What? The other April Fool's thing. Didn't we already watch that? Bro, I'm so looking forward to my own death. <laughs> Didn't we already watch that on stream? No. When we were just like the April Fool, like for 20 minutes. Did we? Yeah. And then it's like the talk show at the end. With the guy from like Parody Rangers. I think we watched that on stream. Because it was the thumbnail. <sighs> Bro. This fucking stage is way too long. He got his dad back for uh, the EXE stop working guy. <laughs> Ignore the pain, the EXE stop yeah. working. That's so funny. This is so fucking frustrating. Someone like commented on it saying like TTA was like awesome because it was like a love letter to like shown in like anime at the time like not like a passionate but it was just like this is how things were and like he nailed like that kind of tone with this whatever just came out. So it's Girl Chain in Paradise. You're gonna call that amazing? <laughs> I kind of want to do, like, my original idea of, like, best of John era Game Grumps, knowing that it would be very short. What was the like, what's actually funny still? What was the deal with that video you uploaded recently? Oh, the April Fool's one? Yeah. It was just my April Fool's joke of the year. It was actually one of the very first music ideas I've ever had, and I just, it only took me eight years to, like, get around to actually making it. But it was, like, when Silva first came out, like, that idea popped into my head, and I think I wanted to make it and, like, submit it to Silva Gunner. And then you made it on Silver Gunner in a different way. Yep. Yeah. Well, Unintentionally. Yeah. What was it? The bat. The. Your West Nightmare, or it's just me talking about it. I think people really like like it because it's like a joke explainer thing. And I call it Silva Gunner, not realizing it's Siva Gunner, but it's just stupid. It's Silva Gunner. Cause I was a fan of the original one, and as soon as he got his channel, or as soon as he deleted his channel, Siva Gunner got the check mark. And they also like a long time ago they were, they like out blew the original in sub count. I will eventually like get back into it and like listen <laughs> because then I have to listen to every riff again. But I'm saying like as soon as I go through every like game soundtrack that I want to like then I will. It's like something you just put on at work. Bro, I just, make I a make a watch. It also like they have more videos than the, the what what the lot, watch later playlist can hold. Bro, Live a Live's remake soundtrack is not complete anywhere on YouTube. Mm. I had to. So I'm just gonna buy it. It doesn't have every song. Really? Pretty sure they only. Well, have... There's only like fifty songs. Not even fifty songs in the game, and I know they added Gigalovania, and I think that's it. The Gigalovania is a dope song. No, there's a bunch of there's a few songs they added at the end of the game. Oh. Yeah. Like, for the cutscenes and shit. Hmm. It's not available, and they really don't want me to listen to it, and I won't. Because I remember uh, when I was trying to find the soundtrack to buy, people were like, it's not complete, don't buy the CD. Hmm. Or it's not a CD, it was on Apple Music yeah. or something like that. Because nobody wants to do anything physical anymore. But if it's, like, unsubstantial songs, then I don't really care. But if it's missing, like... Main battle. Theme. No, no. Like this is longer than Specter Circus. Why is it just part of Specter Circus? This it. I've almost been doing. This been is a bad this, length spike. I've been doing this for this spike. one level for about an hour. Yeah. It would. We weren't even at the three hour mark when we started this. Mm-hmm. No, this song's driving me nuts. This is. It, 
this just overstays its welcome. People are like, oh, are you really getting mad that there are levels in the game? Yes, because your game sucks. I'd rather just have it over with. I'm sorry, but like... Adding more content to mediocrity doesn't make it better. Mega Man is overrated. <laughs> We're playing this and I'm just shitting on something else, but like still. Oh my god, there's six games and they all overstay their welcome. Well, that is the problem with Mega Man. I think there needs to be a resurgence with these AAA companies. Smaller experiences, maybe you don't charge $70 for mm -hmm. that, like, I don't know. I feel like replayability-wise, the, the platform's not here. How am I supposed to do this without the platform? The PPS is PP's been on too long. Yikes is right when you said let's play Ape Escape. <laughs> um, what, what was Smaller even... game, yeah, like short and sweet. Oh. Well, they're putting. Sony's been putting all their money into like these huge fucking AAA mm. experiences. And the tie over games are just. Let's take all our PS4 games and pour them to PS5 and add like costumes. I, I just think they're working at a net loss right now because they're spending so much more than they're gaining. Yeah. Like, this was not a multi million dollar game. Did you see what it was yeah. over there? Like, what happened to, like, games like Journey? Just, like, little experiences. I feel like in the PS3 era, they were, like, big on, like, let's give the indie some time to shine. They, they are now, but they don't make them themselves. Like, isn't, like, that game company, like, a second-party PlayStation company? I don't, I, I don't really know what that game company is. So, like, they made Journey and stuff? Oh, well, they don't do anything except Sky right now. Mm. I think they do have another game, actually. I think they do have another game coming out soon. Um, but they had, uh, they made Flow, Flower, Journey, and then a game called Sky, mm. which was, it's a multiplayer game that plays like Journey. Because mm. I think people freaking out about the, fuck, I need to stop doing that. <laughs> people freaked out about the multiplayer aspect, said it was so cool to, like, play with other people, so they made a game that plays like Journey, and, but it's a racing game where you're flying through the sky and shit. Is there a monkey in there? No, but it was pissing me off. <laughs> Five monkeys and three... This has gotta be like almost at the end. Or, I do remember this part. Like I said, five monkeys, three specter coins. That's Come. how much is left. Huh? That's how much is left. Yeah. Fucking Christ almighty. Definitely boxing glove for some. For at least one that I've seen. This is gonna. This is why they put the shirt and that shirt. So you're operating at a net gain. I think the, the ones in the crystals are the respawning shirts. Oh my god, it's a long way up. Is this where the rockets were? It's the same fucking song. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. It's like they up the model, like the poly count on Spike's body. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. No, no. But it's like they up the poly count on everything on Spike except his hair. Like, it, that just looks like PS1, like, untextured polygons. It's like the whole Aaron Hansen thing, where, like, you're playing Resi 1 remake, and how when you play as Rebecca, it's just Jill's model, but with Rebecca's head. Or, like, I think it's, like, it waist down is the same as Jill's model. It's like, Rebecca has, like, an unusually large ass when you play as her. Like, only when you're playing as her, but not in the cutscenes. Aaron said that? Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm friends with everyone at Capcom. I, I like to take my Mega Man mediocrity from them. I like to take my take their Mega Man meat. Sit down and get fucked by them. You know what I'm saying? Get fucked by the Capcom Mega Man meat, man. I don't get how his favorite franchise can be Mega Man. Mm. 
Like, it honestly gefuckles me. Like, you just played Mega Man 6, it's like, I should play one more. Just four monkeys. Mega Man. I mean, some of them were good. Two was good. Mm -hmm. I think three is mediocre. Mm -hmm. Three was the worst of the six. Three is a mediocre. There's just so many more ideas you could do, and as they all feel so samey. I mean, they did other ideas, but mm -hmm. it's just not... Not... And, like, the fact that 9 and 10, like, took steps back in the gameplay, just to be retro. What? What? What, it, what do those do? I'm trying to figure that out. Hmm? That was trippy. I thought the whole level was lowering, but now this is raising. Came. Oh, hey. But yeah. <laughs> Two. Why would I? Blech. What are the metal routes for? Because I'm assuming if I take this off, it goes down. Yeah. So, what's the point? What's the fucking point? There's more up. You can just move on. I don't know what that last button does. Who cares? Hmm. Makes if it unless it makes a monkey come out. Uh that'll shoot. Ready? We're gonna watch that platform lower. Oh, I guess it thinks the RC car is still there. That could be a gameplay mechanic. That could be like a puzzle. You have to use four different gadgets to like get through something. It's like how do you do that? Or in the original that would be five, but like Realize that it's still spawned in. That's so fast. No! Fuck! Shit! No! Okay. No, it came back down. No, no it didn't. Say. Oh, the RC car is still there. They could have, yeah, made some really cool puzzles based on that. Well, instead, they decided to take the coward's way out. I'm so sick of this. This sucks. This is fucking horrible. Oh my god, dude. It's like, just give it time. The game will make you hate it. Oh my god! That bar that was up there was not low enough. Oh my god, man. I'm... I'm gonna look up how to die with my parents' permission. It's all over my fucking phone. I've had my mental- FUCK! <laughs> Where's all the crackers? They got eaten. <laughs> Grid me. I'm so not cool with being alive right now. 
This is insanity, dude. He has nine shirts on. Will you the deleted Kingdom Hearts 2 stream? Huh? He has nine shirts on, so it's like you in the Kingdom Hearts 2 stream. Deleted. Oh, look, corrupted. It didn't go this high in the air. It did not eclipse the planet when he <laughs> raised it. Bro, I'm so fucking done with this shit. Mm. And I can't wait to go back and play all the levels again. Just, why do you think I'm trying to collect everything now? Mm. Yeah. Spectral Land sucks. <laughs> Look at this. No yeah, you're so close. At least we won't have to come back up here, as far as we know. <sighs> Gotta fucking equip the fucking stupid it RC car. Now we can see what the third button does. At least you don't have to get, like, you it, know, the recollection. Is it killing you inside to know what the third <laughs> button does when it's gonna just obviously make this some dumb... Curiosity did kill the cat. It's gonna make the fucking gray bar show up right here. But only for a few seconds as it goes back. Oh, that's what it does? Yeah, it makes the bar have sex. Yeah. Fucking get rid of that shit. Give me my little... It's making me want to live out the Rocky Horror Picture Show, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> These are still going. It's a little unacceptable that they look, like, that bad coming in and out of the wall. Yeah. I think, like, the levels themselves were not touched up at all. I think they were, definitely. Texture-wise, they definitely are. Poly-wise, no. Uh, fucking wood, you... <laughs> <laughs> Shit, man. I just want to be done. There's no reason this level should have taken me this long. It would have been cool if you could see all the different parts of Spectraland below, but they just don't care. I guess apparently Spectraland's up here. The whole thing? Remember when you when it lifted up and you went back? Hmm. You went back to Spectraland, and now I'm sure it's an oversight. Yeah. They didn't expect you to want to be like, welcome to this space, let's go, go back. Welcome to Salty's do how tough are you? How tough are you? Let me spit in your eye. No! Bro, all the way down, all the way down. This is, uh, this is what they would use to torture people in World War II to get yeah. information. Like this is, this is Japan's revenge on us. <laughs> this sucks. See, at least if you were blown up, you wouldn't have to play this. Oh, fuck me. Oh no, you gotta equip the car and then hit. Or can you fly up to it? Hell jump, no. jump into it. No, it's not gonna work. Yeah, you have to equip the no, car no, 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 and no. hit the try the car button. <laughs> oh my god, this game was made by butt. This game was made by monkeys. I think if they remade the game, they should have the RC car. You have to download an app just for the RC car, and you can control it on the app. <laughs> I was like, that's such a cool idea. The way you gamepad would be so good for that. Was it Connor that came up with the idea? Ideas that would rock yeah. out with my cock out on the Wii U. Yeah. Bro, this is, is just because of his uh, Dynasty Warriors yes, idea. Yes, yes. It's literally only because of his Dynasty Warriors idea. Well, I thought of a bunch, so... Did you really? Yeah. For whenever we do the next podcast. Or no, it's like at the bottom of the list. Whenever, in five podcasts from now, I will tell you. Whenever we could get everyone together to do it. Yeah, we couldn't at all last month. What's the problem? None of our schedules line up. I actually bought Castle Crashers on the Switch. Like, I ordered it. And I'm gonna make that the next game I play at work, and I'm probably gonna beat the entire thing before we ever get the stream castle crashes again, so I will be like a seasoned player for next time. Just don't tell Sharky, just make it seem like yeah. you got a lot better. Yeah. I'm just gonna like make him impressed. Well. Wow. Because yeah, there's no point, like the reason I picked it is to play it on the PS4, and then Connor with his fucking shh! What was that?! Yeah, I don't know. Connor's maniacal plan of forgetting his controllers and then suggesting we play it on PC, and that got Sharky all like, "Wing!" And like, let's do that. And then sit there for ten hours to set up and play for one hour. 
Because that's what's going to happen next time. How long did we take on this section of the original? Uh, probably as long. Probably even longer because you have to rotate the control stick to do the floaty thing. So a lot of it was probably just user error. Nuke. Yeah. What? What? <laughs> I'm so confused. Why did he just say nuke? Because I said if you got blown up, you wouldn't have to play this. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I tried to make a joke, but YouTube wouldn't let me. Oh, about a nuke? Even though we have live chat on? Uh, it doesn't matter. You, there's still things against YouTube's TOS. <sighs> I think bombing entire countries might be against YouTube's TOS. <laughs> What's so wrong about that? I don't, I don't know, Kramer. What's so wrong? I don't about? know, Maxie. Maybe you did order the Dorito sandwich instead of the poor road toast. I tried the I tried the Dorito burger at um, Friendly's. It was good. It was good. Yeah. I was thinking maybe for dinner we could try that Italian place. You want to try Italian it? place? Yeah, that's like down the street from me. Yeah. I've been wanting you to go, but I don't want to go alone. I think he's going to say it all in words. Japan. <laughs> you nuke. We do nuke. How'd you know? How did you get out of your cell? The, what is happening? It does... The, no, 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 no. <laughs> I don't get why people hate Mario 64. Because, like, this is absolute dog shit in comparison. Kingdom Hearts, inspired by Mario 64 platforming... Feels like a failed son that like did meth and did not pick up his father's business. He said, "Why is it blo blocking the word them?" It's because to uh, um. <laughs> Instead of saying to, say um. Oh fuck! What is the word? I have a list in my. <laughs> I have a list like, in my car. Of words. <laughs> All right, we're back. I do this. Don't don't fo focus on this. Oh, right. shit, man. How many times has I get knocked down but I get up again played in this one section of the game? I get knocked down, but I get up again. Your mother dresses like a clown. <laughs> I get knocked down. And yet your mom still gets me around. <laughs> I get knocked down. Oh, is this sex happening? What is, what is happening? Uh, I don't remember this. Are you playing a oh yeah Kong? yeah or breakout? Oh. That was like my favorite moment of last of us. What <laughs> with the lighting where you're like <laughs> the camera it's like a Kong battle. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I gotta find it. I'm gonna pull it up because it was like my favorite moment of the whole best. Of... Oh, it was a, it was it came out already. Yeah, it's been out, but like part one. It's been out. <laughs> it came out again. The whole year. Oh my god, Chris. Ah! I remember where it's in the school, like in the gym. In gym. The what? It happens twice, I'll just find the first time. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Is that all the way back down? <laughs> 40 minute best of Jesus. I'm just gonna have to like actually- You're on Danganronpa it. now, right? Dang no. No. I finished Danganronpa. That came out? Dang Rapa 1, yeah. When? A while ago. Just so you know, I can't move. That whole time. Wait, what happened? I don't know.
I'm always coughing. <laughs> no! <laughs> Ten life. Oh, here it is. You wonder if someone's head came off of the bleacher. Like they accidentally like, tripped and that fell is. right on the end of the bleacher. All right. When, uh, when, uh... Oh, when yeah! The pedal needs to get to one end to the other really quickly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they made his guest appearance. I thought Toonami Tom was special. Yeah, I wish this was... Oh, wait, did we ever show off Toonami Tom and Sly 2? <laughs> thing that'd, that'd be really bad if we didn't i think there's another like time where the pawn paddles in it but i'm not gonna go searching for it <laughs> like i think this is the boss i swear it's down in that canyon but like that was so long ago <laughs> yeah it's playing his thing Oh, is there more stage? Are you... Yeah. Fuck. See, it just feels like it goes on forever. Because you have to do this whole stage in a sitting. I don't see any return points. Oh, there's a shirt over there. Length spike. This is what I was talking about. Oh. Kaiza. What kind of a fucking dumbass name is Kaiza? You really seem to have changed your voice in a cutscene, huh? Can't get pregnant. You listen to Sublime, you don't look at it. How did we not notice it was him this whole time? <laughs> Maybe every cutscene had a different voice actor. Because Ty got us distracted. That was Spike on a different line. Was this in the original? I think so. Who did we say Spectre should fight? Mm. Wily. I thought it said prick. That's why they picked him. Um... Holy shit. Then I get replaced in the next game. Power and strength are like... Sir, please stop! Uh, what? I guess this is the final boss. I swear it was down in the canyon. So I always like sections in this in games. There's like the rare time you can say it's from a second person perspective. What other game has it? Candy Mars 2. There's another one. Um, Glover. Am I supposed to do Final Boss of Glover has this too. Jack too. You're right, yeah. Oh 
What am I? What am I supposed to do? I guess you'd even count like Rayman Two with like the teeth on like the HUD, like because from the perspective of the monster chasing you. What am I supposed to do? Get to hit those. I don't see why this would do anything, but... Maybe the auto-aiming ones, like the rockets. What does the danger mean? You just have to run up and hit him? No, he just keeps shooting you forever. You're knocking cookies out of him. I am? Yeah, there's two cookies there. What the fuck do I do? When you get close, it says danger. I think you have to jump so that, like, the force field doesn't hit you. Yeah, you are hitting him. Danger means I can hit him with my pole. It is when you get close. That's sorry. Is that it? I, I I just couldn't figure out what I was doing. I really hope that was it, but I don't know. There's no way just the head because there's the rest of the body. True. Please don't make it a normal fucking perspective. Those proportions is like chibi what? robot. Well, you gotta shoot it with something. Or yeah, do that. Fuck. What? Help. Where? No, they're just saying, like, drop them. Least. We got nine more tries. I don't think you can kill these, can you? Mm. Yeah, I just nice. go through them. Playing Jingle Bells or something on there? Jingle Bells, Batman smells, Robin Lane. It's a lame boss fight. Oh my god, it's so lame. <laughs> the lamest thing I've done all day. <laughs> Thank god it's what? not in, in, yeah. in immediate death. I won't question it, because once you start questioning things, they just take them away. Yeah, his torso, the screen. I couldn't. Does it come back? Wow. Not fair, he comboed you. There you go. Ha! Ah! <coughs> 
Do that they shoot and drop like slingshot ammo. Oh great. I'm not gonna risk hitting it like that. Yeah. Nice. Fuck, are you serious? Ah! Shit! Arms back. This sucks. This sucks so bad. So you like games like that? <coughs> Me? Yeah. I liked it before Spectre Land. This is like games like they overstay their welcome. Like they they go on long enough for you to hate them. It's like Eggman Land and Sonic Unleashed. The last level is infamous for being the longest fucking thing in the world. That's how I felt with Chrono Trigger. The game was so good up until the last level. Because it's just samey factory for like an hour straight of just going through identical looking rooms. I think dungeons in any game need to be more like varied not because like i'm a baby and i'm getting lost but like it's more just everything looks the same it's not appealing putting you in a maze to get lost in is not fun that's what makes zelda dungeons so good when they have like those central rooms to come back to it like makes you feel good when you like oh i'm in like the dongo's cavern but i'm like way up there now and i'm crossing the bridge like overlooking the whole central area or, like getting back to that central room in the water temple that way it's like you're not having to backtrack through the entire dungeon. You just get back to the center room, maybe change the water Talk. level, and then get to the room you need to go to. But like, it's better when you can easily identify what a room is. Rather than like, wait, is this the room I'm supposed to be? Oh no, it just looks like it. Especially in like old NES games when like they are identical because they just had to reuse things. Are you taking damage still? Oh. <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do. Roll credits, and then we're not done. Part 3, hopefully it'll be the finale, but not there. I thought he was flipping him off. It's the only time a finger had a model in this game. Pretty good. <laughs> only pretty good. Oh, my favorite music. Boundary break, get down there. You think next part might be finale? Might. Because backtracking could be like another half of the game. Nice lighting, it just... So she said pretty good and then came out here all worried immediately after. <laughs> These models could have been updated on the PSP. Like, God of War Chains of Olympus looked as good as it did and then there's this. And then, like, Dante, like, slices his sword down between them. <laughs> or Sephiroth comes down with two swords and stabs both of them. <laughs> yogurt? Trix yogurt? This will, be the one time, this will be the one time we watch credits. Yeah. In this game or just ever? Well, when we... <laughs> <laughs> We're done knowing who made what. Yeah. <laughs> 
Who's the blade? Oh, then we got the post story. You yeah. know, he just saved the world, and, and then she kicked them out and yeah. made him move away. Yeah. Thank you for saving the world. Not I can't hear neither of your voices, especially after you changed your own and changed mine for one moment in our time. Yeah, Suichi Serato. I'm sorry, man, but like hitting this. Who's Suichi Serato? The composer. Uh huh. He's bad. He's all right. Some songs are good, but like only some. Yeah, she's a computer only. This is why he filmed me's into the 2D world. Yeah. He saw her and he was like, God damn. His jaw hit the floor and accidentally killed Cracked somebody it. the body had been discovered. <laughs> the body that Ben discovered? <laughs> ben discovered it in the back. Ben was hit it from the back and then he discovered it. Yeah, they really love her because they just stay on this one image. Yeah, this is their favorite image. Oh, here we go. Sam Bakeman freed. Is that him? This is what he had to do to get out of jail. He had to put up a This is community service, taking yeah. down billboards. Yeah, he has to spray tape. <laughs> spray taint. <laughs> he has to spray paint the billboard to get out of prison. He has to spray Andrew Tate's taint. I want to make it smell juicy fresh. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to be spraying it with Axe, not bug spray. Who's that a statue of? This finger went in my mouth. Um, Dragon Fighter. Yeah. The one, the only. Dragon King, I think it is called. Dragon Warrior. Dragon Fist. Dragon Warrior. Just name every word, you'll eventually get it. <laughs> Dragon Spangen. Dragon Whisker. <laughs> Dragon Spangen. <laughs> Jason Cock. Er. They actually model random people for the, Who are these people? For the prime purpose of the ending. Alright, voice sound. There we go. Spectre Knight? Spike Child. Sia Marketing. What is this? Sia game? Marketing. Sia Marketing. Yeah, I didn't see this game get promoted at all in whatever year this game came out in. 2009, whatever. I don't even think the first time I heard about Ape Escape was like the cameo on Snake Eater. Good. <laughs> so I just assumed it was a Konami game, but no. It's still so weird that like MGS4 is only on PS3. I think it's because in the game, don't they say like, we're on PlayStation 3, Snake? Probably. So they physically can't port it well, because of that. It was exclusive to PlayStation at the time, I believe. Mm -hmm. Like they had time exclusives. In that. But it, it's Steve Ross. Are you serious? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> um. But like, yeah, yeah this wasn't. Um, it, um, this wasn't um, <clears throat> uh, Japan Studios. So it must have been America, because Sia is Sony Computer Entertainment America. Yeah. Um. It, like it, if it's a time exclusive, I guess the time slot doesn't run out. It was never like brought to PS4 or anything. Yeah. Um, what I mean is like when MGS5 came out, it was like only on PlayStation for a long time. Yeah. So I think they have some kind of deal. Yeah. But it's just weird. Yeah, three is still stuck on PS3. But not a problem for us if we're just like keeping the old consoles. What a really stupid way to set up for a sequel. In that case, then I'll go and find him, Professor. Actually, it just feels unrewarding, like that you didn't accomplish anything because they wanted to set up for a sequel. Just ignore all those monkeys that have not been captured yet. Like, this is like, alright, you're not done with the game, there's still more to do. Or even like Eggman just juggling whatever emeralds you didn't collect is so nice. It's just like one screen that tells you everything you still need to do. Yeah, you gotta replay the whole game, but, like, it's more just like, hey, there's still more to do here. You know what? Before we stop. You wanna do a minigame? No. Those will be, like, end, 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 end. Yeah. Are you just gonna count up what we gotta do? No, because that would make me upset. Yeah. Oh, we never got the boxing glove? 
Magic Punch. That's what Bill Cosby handed me. Wow, Chris. They let that man out of prison. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, people are really offended that I made the joke, and then the Bill Cosby, like, stands are mad that I made jokes about their favorite guy. I don't need to read His this. name isn't Ozzel in America, is it? Huh? They, they've just been calling him the professor, but I'm, like his thing there says Dr. Ozzel. Does he have his own like talk show? Do you hold it to make it go further? No, you just gotta be lucky. Yeah, that's just stupid. Luck is never gonna be on our side. It's Ape Escape. It's kind of a lame beat the game reward because just like here are just some obstacles that can only be broken with this one weapon it's not like a good game it's not a good mark brown key as he calls it like items that are keys to getting um through things like a good key is like a zelda item like the hook shot that makes you rethink how you travel the level i could have gotten that specter coin Mm. Come right. on. I'm so glad you didn't like finish with that like best video game soundtracks of all time list thing because I'm afraid like this song would have been on it. What? Remember when you're like putting on the thing as like all the best like video game soundtracks and we never finished it? Like I'm afraid like this would have been on it if we kept going. Why did you go take a nap, you stupid crap? <laughs> you did it. I think the professor's getting seen out. He's literally just pacing around and scratching his head like he doesn't know where he is. Yeah, I think they're phasing him out. Yeah. <laughs> he might not be in the sequels. <laughs> good night, Richard. Oh, good we're, night. We're about to be we're done. We're about to be it. done. Yeah. I'm completely cleared. <laughs> wow. <laughs> are you starting? How far are we going with this? I'm um, just doing the first three because yeah. I know where everything is. Well, it's still fresh in your mind. Dory? Dory? Dorky? Dorkly? Dorkly? No. <laughs> what the hell was that? Is that like a cat? Like, you know when cats do like the really quiet yeah. like, I, I live with one. I don't know. Every cat's meows are different. I mean, she is the cat's meow. You are the cat's meow. <laughs> meow, cat. <laughs> but it's like the meows where they don't even open their mouths. Like, it's so sad. Yeah. It's like, it makes me cry every time. But then they say, like, different meows mean different things, but yeah. how, are, how are we supposed to know? Because we can study them. Yeah. Like, Coco, he would always, like, do, like, a quick meow when I walked in the room. It was, like, a hello meow. That forced. That was forced. Yeah, telling me how to play the game when we just beat it. That was so weird. The rain, like, froze for that. The Specter coin. So you, you have to get the Specter coin before the day break because it kicks you out of the level. Yeah, that's the last monkey, I believe. I knew where they both were, but it's just this I one room, know. right? Where could the Specter coin be that we didn't find it already? I don't think we were really searching high and low yet, or it could have been like we didn't have a gadget for it. Because really, the hel I think the helicopter is like the most used gadget besides the sword and the. Net, just because it's so good for travel. Yeah, I love traveling. <laughs> Especially with the ball. Like, getting the run in Crash 3 is such a good, like, clear the game power, because it just helps making, like, returning to levels easier. No, we just suck. Yeah. Like, it just makes the game easier. I know Mark wouldn't like me saying that, but, like... <laughs> it's just like a good way to go back and do cleanup, but like I mean, just having a boxing glove where it's like you can't get this unless you have the power up is dumb. It's a forced way to replay value. It's like Mario Odyssey. They should like let you still get everything before beating the game. Just when you beat it, they give you more means to like get everything. But then Pokemon will lock so much content like Battle Frontier. 
until after beating the game. If oh, they, it's me. It's like when you beat it, you're done. Like, let's move yeah. on. If they ever do Spike versus Toba, I would love for Spike to just, like. Catch I want him. him to eat it in such a yeah, a in such way. a gruesome, fucked up way. <laughs> his hands in his pockets, like he's trying to play off his senility with sweat. Yeah, he's like, well, I guess I'm just here now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. 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 Completely. It should just say perfectedly perfect. Yeah. Though. We're missing three here and one. One. Oh, you already no. got the Spectre Yeah, we already got the Spectre yeah, coin. You did this level because it's the third one. But I hate this level. Yeah, it's just the dragon. And, or sorry, the dinosaur. You couldn't, yeah, I don't think you had any gadgets to get him off the dinosaur. Now we have a... We have everything. Now we have a... Can you shoot through that? Yes. With my perfectly perfect. Do I need to hit him with a fucking slingshot? Nintendo didn't make this, so yes. I wish it would just lock on. Punching glove, maybe. What does the hint say there? Because you can't get here unless you come back. Oh. The monkey has a shadow going through the dinosaur onto the floor. Because they each have their own shadow, and it's one texture. It's blown out for the dinosaur, so you don't see it very well. But because it's so concentrated for the monkey. Fuck. Fuck. Shit! God damn it! Mother <laughs> broke out redubs. Broke out redubs. And then one single best of like for one clip accidentally has the original audio. And then my dad comes home finally. <laughs> <laughs> finally, actually. Hello. Oh yeah. Mm. That's like Connor's fart being dubbed in voice. I would love this in real life. Yeah. I would get some places to live. Yeah, I get so wet. <laughs> Take that out very well. Hi, Tyrannosaurus. The fact that in less than 10 minutes I've gotten three levels done. Mm -hmm. But they're the easiest level, it's only gonna get longer. Sorry to be pessimistic. No, well, no, what I mean is, like, that last level did not need to take a fucking hour I know. and a half. Length spike. I'm not <laughs> telling Spike length, I'm this is just a length spike. I was like, what's well, Spike? He's got length. Like, I get, like, the last things in the game should be, like, the longest and the hardest, but, like, not just exponentially longer. It's like if the first Lord of the Rings book was like the length of green eggs and ham and then the second one was as long as it was. Or it's like if Lord of the Rings was split into like a hundred green eggs and ham length books and then the last one was a full length novel. Get the hell out of here. Got dragon cake in the last <laughs> few seconds. I keep calling them dragons when I mean dinosaurs. Dino cake? Dino cake. Sounds Ugh. like a kid's like snack. Like a dessert. Yeah! Oh, she says that when you complete the level. Completely cleared. 
And he's still swagging his way around, trying to find the bathroom. Like, I just wish, like, him in the background, like, he was actually doing things, like... How many percents do you think we're going up? Make sure to save and not load. This? It's the all the monkeys that you captured. All their bios. <laughs> I remember we were going to those, like, likes and touch you. Looks like nap after meals, like the stroke and off in the night. Yeah, I wonder where, yeah, touch uteruses is. Is it uteri? What is this? I think it's just a bestiary. I don't know why this game needs one. The enemies are nothing. Like, really? Nat sons? How do we miss so many? Wow. Shitters? Oh, splitters. <laughs> do you have to kill them? Does it. Megatron. Oh. Present day. Present day. Uh, definitely found them all there. Oh. That's cool. Oh. Like. That is cool. We might, we might, we might go through that at the end. Remember save. I feel like this game is going to pull a fast one. Save. 32.6. 90. 90. 90. Fifty eight point four. Two more streams. You think so? Yeah. Fox. Fox. <laughs> yeah, we're Fox done. And Fox. We're done. I'm shutting this shit down before someone steps <sighs> down to clown. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we did like a hundred.